I got a bowl of snow caps, my cat on my lap, my girl next to me. Life is good. Life is good. Bug. <laughs> That's a motherfucking bug. I'm, I'm shy at the tree chops. The tree chops. The tree chops. Get a few vibe checks going. I'm so excited. <gasps> Yo! Is that 69? That's 69! Who got it? You got it? That's it. We could just end the stream right here. Why do we need it? We don't need a debut. <laughs> no, we do. We do. You're so cute. Oh, Jonathan, you were so close. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. She shops and show us your ass. I can't actually turn around on my live 2D model because my ass is so flat. It's actually a black hole effect. It would... The cheeks would open up and you guys would get sucked in. It's really for your own safety. It's really for your own safety here. You two have a Hank Hill ass. See? Oh, little feetsies. These are my little bug feeties. And you can see my... Oh, you can see my wings! Just like a little... Just like a little nibble. You guys are just getting like a little nibble or something. It's a little taste. It's a little taste. Zolotl! Everyone say hi to Zolotl. That is my sibling. That's my sibling. That's your sibling. Yes, we both got rigged by the same papa. It's message me sometime and I'll make it safe to spin you around. I, wait. Hang on, I lost my model. Wait. You're gone. Oh, there oh, you there are. Oh, there I am. There. I lost myself. I lost myself. I got scared. I'm sorry. Okay. We're scooching down. We're scooching down. Okay, don't look too much at my thighs. Stop looking, you perverts. I'm burning your gaze. Oh, Suvi, Suvi just got really close. Oh, you see my beautiful little hands and my extra appendages. My extra little appendages. My extra little appendages. I'm still staring at their thighs. <gasps> wow, and here I am, everybody. That's right, it's me, Bug, here for a bug in good time. Da, 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 da. It's so cute. My mom and papa did a great job bringing me to... <laughs> Y'all heard that? That was Beansy cheering. Thanks, Yang's demon. Yang's demon. Popping into chat. Literally four legs for days. And Fusion Hunter, my other sibling. Holy shit, it's like a little family reunion in here. Oh my god. I'm literally blushing. I'm, oh, hang on. Now I'm literally <laughs> blushing. <laughs> yes, this is me. This is me. It does look so good. Thank you, Jonathan. I was so, so excited to get this bad boy cooking in the pot. And then it then got cooked out of the pot. Out of the frying pan and into the oven for that final sweet bake, you know? Where, where what is it, like a balsamic glaze? This is the balsamic glaze of VTubing. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yes, a few things I would love to notate are my cute little... My cute little heart pins. Not only the ones, you know, tying my hair in place, but also my, my Sailor Moon brooch. Brooch? How do you say that word? Brooch. Brooch. My Sailor Moon brooch. Baked at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. Actually, 425. Yes. Thank you so much, Rain. I look so cute and I swish so much. My hair is so bouncy. I also would like to note that the little part on my chest here that comes from my brooch also mimics my beetle wings. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? And of course, I do have a little heart cut out as well because I'm a lovey-dovey, I'm a lovey-dovey bitch. I'm a lovey-dovey bitch. And I have cute little freckles because I've been kissed by the sun. Yes, Fusion Hunter and I are full-blooded siblings. Same mama, same papa. They're just a little bit older than I am. Just a little bit older than I am. But ooh la 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 la. And we both have cutouts. Fusion Hunter is made of goo, guys. If you don't follow them, you, you should. Jonathan, can we get a shout out for them, please? Thank God you don't have the lifespan of a normal beetle. <laughs> I guess in two to three years, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> two to three years, we'll find out. But yes, Fusion Hunter's model is so cute because they also have a... um like a a goo friend i'm so sorry i don't know what else to call it 
But one of the images I always think of when I see Fusion Hunter is them holding their little goober. They're holding their little goober. And is that if that's not the cutest thing you've ever heard, I don't even want to I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Baby is your older sis though. Oh, his name is Slushy. And he's your gut puppy. I hope he is full of so many probiotics that you never have a bad shit a day in your life. Soupy's laughing at me. This is just the way I talk. Seven. Oh, that's okay. There we go. The I we got the idea. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate it. I don't know who that other fusion hunter you linked is, but I'm glad they got a shout out too. They deserved it. <laughs> what a phrase. Thanks, Lilith. I hope you never have a I hope you never take a bad shit again. I hope your gut is full of so many probiotics and so much good gut bacteria that you're like a yogurt commercial. It's nobody. I clicked on the link and it didn't work. Okay. Oh. Fusion Hunter, that means you defeated your shadow self. Congratulations. Congratulations on defeating your shadow self, King. You don't have organs, but it's the thought that counts. Correct. And if you're mean to me, I hope you all forget how to eat. Hi, Beansy! Let's get an exclamation. Oh, wait, never mind. The link was fine. It's just trying to add exclamation mark to it. LOL. No one can beat me. I am the champion. Yep, and that's my little, my oldest kitty cat, Beansy. But we'll get a little bit more into that a little bit later. But yes, this is the model. I'm so excited to finally be using it. I've been playing with it a lot in the past few days. Not to be like, blushes, narcissistic, but I have been staring at myself a lot. <laughs> All of your left shoes are slightly too small. That's right. I hope if you're mean to me or my siblings that you never find the proper shoe size in the stores. And I also hope you forget to eat. Jonathan claims he would never be made to bug, which are pretty bold words. Bold words. Bold, bold words. Bold, bold words. You're now an official member of the Shadow Wizards Money Gang. Hope you enjoy casting spells and getting money. <laughs> and bitches. And bitches. Uh, do you hear Eden crying? Yes. Okay. That's great. Eden's also happy to be a part of the festivities. He's cheering and clapping. My design is based off an Atlas beetle. Although, um, Mads, my good friend who helped me with the design, he said, I just really like big horns. So I'm going to give you really big horns. And I said, I like that. I like that. I'm not horny, but I do have a point. Actually, two points. This message was sponsored by the shadow government. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. They're after me. They found my location. Nobody rat me out, okay? No one rat me out. Four if you count your fangs. <gasps> so true. My little fangs. Yes, my mama asked me very specifically. They were like, do you want the fangs to show from the outside? Do you guys like my cockroach spinning cowboy? alert the only correct answer is yes by the way if you don't like it you you automatically get banned oops oops, oops. <laughs> oopsies anyone who's mean to bugs does automatically get banned on theme thank you i did i updated all my alerts oh <gasps> cherry you are stunning and i'm gonna kiss you on the lips if you keep it up Mwah. i'm so happy you're here i do look gorgeous don't i la 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 I love how hydrate with water costs tw twice as much as normal hydrate. Correct, because I hate water. And anyone who makes me drink water is a hater. I mean, you guys care about me, which is very sweet, but... But haters. Jonathan immediately redeemed... <gasps> Lilith too! You guys are sick! And Tristan? Can you go get my propel from the uh, fridge? Yeah. Thank you. You guys... <gasps> and Ray! You guys fucking suck! anything in this house i can't do anything in this house cherry's letting me drink my coke thank you cherry and cherry says that's your chase what did cherry say <laughs> you know your chaser. your chaser that's not water that's fitness water madge what do you mean nelly coon welcome to the beetle grove i'm happy to have you here uh fit what is the di fitness water you don't want me to have my electrolytes you want me to just pass out you don't want me to have my electrolytes? Propel is the closest you're gonna get to bug drinking real water, so fucking take it. <laughs> God, you people are so 
so picky. <laughs> So he's just like, you get what you get. Nellie, thank you so much. I do think my model looks pretty fabulous. I'm a bug. Thick water. Put your mouth under the damn tap. I'm fucking happy that I can get them to drink Propel. You guys need to just chill the fuck out. <laughs> That's my partner, Stoopy, who is the disembodied voice off to the side. As in when you drink something nasty and you need something yummy, there are two versions of autism. Hate water and only like water. I'm the hate water. And Stoopy's the only like water. Although, that's just not fair. That's not fair. Suvi loves fair. lemonade. I do love lemonade. All right, so I have like to take a bunch of big sips of water. Ugh. Fusion's the only water. I'm the opposite. I'm the hate. Man, I'm the hate water. You hate water? I hate water. Okay, see, I could be Lilith who drinks only Monster. That's not great, Lilith. That's Lilith, that's okay. I also hope you get some electrolytes. Maybe get some Gatorade in there, too. <laughs> Maybe but, at least some Gatorade. But I understand. In about 15 to 20 minutes, Bug is going to have to take a 10-minute pee break. I'm not a hydro homie. I'm also a milk hater. If it's chocolate milk, I'll drink it, but otherwise, no. Yes, Fusion, Fusion Hunter and I do complement each other perfectly well. You force yourself to get water, you promise. You are so bright. You are so brave. The bravest. Taking another big sip of water. <laughs> okay. Three big sips of water. That was three big sips of water, and then I can take two big sips of Coke. <laughs> God, okay. <laughs> God, keep up. Milk rocks. Don't listen to the haters. Uh, milk I'm the sucks. haters. Milk sucks. I am, I am haters. Milk sucks. But I can get angry. Ooh. You guys are talking about milk. I can also get sad. I can also get sad. Like, oh, why are you guys talking about milk? Why are you guys talking about milk? The cows need that. <laughs> You're killing cows for your milk. Milk with Oreos or chocolate chip cookies? Chocolate milk? Milk on its own? I hope it explodes. Milk and no vanilla wafers is your favorite? I've not tried that. That sounds fine, though. I've, yeah, it does sound fine. I'm not a huge, like, vanilla wafers person. It's one of those, if someone brings in a basket for me at work, I'll, you know, I'll take one. Save milk, drink blood. So true. I was going to make a worse joke, but that one's much better. Were you going to say drink cum? I was going to say drink cum, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we're on the Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Can someone guess my favorite number? 69. No, someone more mature. It's, yeah, it's 420. <laughs> Do you know you can replace eggs in any recipe with blood? For, yeah, Jonathan, 420. So true. Rain said, save a cow, milk somebody. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, it's 420. Yeah, it's 420. <laughs> Alrighty, but I do have a whole debut slideshow prepared, but instead of it being just talking about myself, I actually am going to start off, Jonathan's blushing. Jonathan's considering getting milk. Instead of donating plasma, you donate milk from the teats. That sounds terrible. It sounds awful. I don't think we should do that. But I'm not going to kink shame anyone. This is a, a kink positive community. No, it's not, actually. If you're into piss, I hate you. Hi, BMC. Alrighty, Cherry. Mwah. Have fun. Kink shaming is my king. Ah! I love that vine. But yeah, so my um, my debut slideshow. I plan on not spending too much time on it because, personally speaking, as fun as debuts are, I'm not super into the slideshow portion of it. I usually like what people have planned for after it. Um, sorry, your character got rejected in Baldur's Gate 3 twice today, so you're trying to cope. Anyone who turns you down, Rain, I think should explode. Will there be time for your anti-bug slideshow afterwards? I don't know. Did you bring enough anti-bug slideshows for the whole class? Did you bring enough to share with the whole class? If so, maybe we can talk about it. But if you didn't, I don't know. I have to take two big, big drinks of Coke. You guys are hydrating me. You have pamphlets. I would be interested in your religion, yes. I am interested. 
Oh no, Pikmin 4. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get the platinum on this. Is it because they're haters? AKA the highlight of class. Yes! Thank you. This is like high society, highbrow society. Beetle, can you be milked? Kind of like those caterpillars that get milked by ants. Well, I'm not a milkweed caterpillar, but I do know weed. <laughs> Soupy can't hit platinum Pikmin. Good luck getting a girl to even look at you. Hi now. Watch your fucking tone. I'm great at Pikmin. Watch your fucking tone. I beat it in like a week or less. A week or less. How long Do you did remember? it take me? It didn't take me that It did long. not take you very long at all. But I fucking powered through this Do you guys shit. remember? You may not remember. If you were on Tumblr, you'd probably remember this. Um, the post where, like, people are making fun of Kylo Ren's actor. And someone's like, hi, this is actually, um, what's his name? Adam Drive? Hi, this is actually Adam Drive. I'm a 30 or 40 year old man and I'm very distraught. And everyone's like, dude's so distraught he can't even remember his own age. age. Why do the captions translate Pikmin as Pigmen? That's Pigmen. evil. That's evil. I only know one pig woman, and that is from Saw. Oh, I can't remember her name, though. Abby? No. No. She was funny, though. She was fun. That's Pikmin at home. <laughs> Honey, you don't need Pikmin 4 at the store. We have Pikmin at home. Amanda! Yes, I knew it started with an A. Thank you so much, Rain. Amanda didn't do anything wrong. She was just a girl boss. She was just a girl Any boss. Any sentence that starts off with, do you remember that Tumblr post? And I get a panic response. Fight or flight, baby. And for me, it's flight 100% with these bugging wings. Bestie plays Dead by Daylight a lot, so you remembered the name. Thank God. Alien is coming out in DVD. And if, if Jonesy the cat isn't the playable survivor, I don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. hear it. I used to be into DBD, and then the devs made some interesting choices. Yeah, exactly, Beansy. That's what I'm saying. The devs made some interesting choices. So for my own health and safety, I've not touched it in a while. But at some point, I do, I do kind of want to see what all the updates were, even though I'm sure they'll make me mad. Even though I'm sure they'll make me mad. Alrighty. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is! BRB work is calling you. Can you hang up and say you're at Bugs Debut? This is more important. Bugs Debut is way more important. Bugs Debut is way more important. Let me... I feel like I'm a little... I'm very little. I would like to be a little bigger. That's better. That's better. I, I feel like I'm the appropriate size now. But that's me. I'm Bug. Also known as Beetle underscore VT. And I'm gonna be your Beetle Hero. I'm gonna be your Beetle Hero. It's literally Bugs debut. This only happens once. Um, yes. So, if you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, are subscribed, I have. Oh, bye, BNC. <gasps> Joker! Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go! <clears throat> I have updated badges. And so now the base badge starts as Beetle Eggs. Then you go into the larva stage, then you go into the pupa stage, and then you're a beetle. Then you're a beetle with your wings open, and then you're a golden beetle, and then for my year and a half, you are a rainbow beetle. Joker, I already got 69 here. There's no way you're topping that. There's no way you're topping that. No way. No way. 95. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty good, but not as funny as 69. So we're going to start off my slideshow with my top five favorite bugs. My criteria in how I decided to judge this was how nice they are to look at, how nice they are temperament wise, and how much I like them. Uh, 2%. Who got 2%? Hina, so much for being my wife. Wow, Hina's my wife, but you can't even buy for more than 2% for me? Oh, wow. Kind of kind of bummed about that. Mm. Sad. Oh, well, there's other wives. Yeah, Subi. Subi pointing at themselves. Yes, honey, that's also, you. Also, especially with how good I just did in Pikmin. Fuck you guys saying I couldn't get Beer, Guys, we have to put the debut on hold. I need to make out with <laughs> Subi for how good they were at Pikmin. 18 right now! The vibes are not where they should be right now. 
So these are my top five favorite bugs. Um, I will say for those of you who are arachnophobic, number three is a spider. So if you want to avert your gaze when it comes to that, I'll let you know when it's safe again in all genuity. But number five, my number five rated bug is the dung beetle. Why? He's an underrated king. We really don't give enough credit to the dung beetles that take care of the doo-doo. They take care of the doo-doo. They're the blue collared workers. They're the blue collared workers. They're like our sewage and our trash men. They are unsung heroes of society. And also I really like the dung beetle boss in Hollow Knight. But yeah, like look, they're just dependable. I trust them. If I had to go to the bathroom in Starbucks, I could say, hey, can you watch my laptop? And I know when I got back, my laptop would still be there. I know it would still be there. Why? Because they're honest men. I'm tired of people trashing dung beetles or going, oh, you just what place is the bullet beetle? Bullet beetle is very, very good. It did not make my top rankings because I saw it late. I actually finished my debut slideshow before I saw that. So I didn't squeeze it in, but bullet beetle, I don't know, it could go two ways. He could either be a, a brave soldier or a terrorist. And that scares me because I don't know, because I don't know the truth. But he's, he's probably, he's probably fun. If you don't see Hercules beetle, you'll cry. Cause I'm gonna hand Lilith some, some tissues because Hercules beetle actually is not on my top five. There were a few that I had to shuffle around. And really this isn't, this does not encapsulate all, a bugs, all the bugs, bugs I love. Lilith, I will say if it makes you feel any better, I love Hercules beetle so much. They are tattooed on my arm. That is true. I have a Hercules beetle. I also have a Chinese praying mantis. And then I have a Kabuto beetle as well. So, yeah. So as much, I could have included a lot of different beetle types, but I was trying to be very diverse because my top five could have been just like five different beetles. <laughs> All right. My next one like is, bug likes beetles or something. is whatever the fuck this thing is. If this isn't upsetting to look at, I don't know what is. He is a goober, isn't he? So this guy actually is the longest in living insect currently. There is like a longer bug of Welcome back, Jonathan. Joker, did that not throw? Did that not throw? It did not. That's, um, I have it opened and set up. My tits are on. That, sorry, that's why I'm confused is my tits are currently on. So it shouldn't, it should have thrown. Yeah, those are its legs. Uh, yeah, it's, let me make sure my connection's there. I'll try reconnecting and see if that works. Jonathan, if you don't mind refunding Red Joker's points, I don't know what, it's not going. What? I wonder why my tits isn't working. On my debut of all days, this is the day you don't work? What the hell? It's connected. I double checked. I have no idea what's going on. Sorry, guys. Um, try reopening it. Oh, okay, yeah. Sounds good. When in doubt, reopen it. The tits is on the front. The tits. I'm gonna throw up. I'm throwing up blood! Thanks, Lil. I, I was playing it earlier. Um, okay. But this is the longest stick bug. It is, its real name is like Py, Pyranthius Zhao. It is in China. 
and it's a really cool guy. <gasps> Mary! Oh, all right, Hori says uh, I'm hydrating. No, I hate you. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. This is why Jonathan's my mod. <gasps> you were napping. I hope it was a good nap. Hydrating. Hydrating real good. I hope you had the best nap, but this guy... <sighs> well, if I don't... Okay, fine. Hydrate with water. I did make it cost twice, twice as much because I don't want people to redeem it. <laughs> but people still be redeeming it. But people be redeeming it because they hate me. They must be blown up. Thank you, Kane. Thank you so much. But yes, this was discovered in China and they come out of the egg that big. They get huge. They get like as big as a person's forearm. Well, as long as a person's forearm. It is a stick bug. And Subi loves stick bugs. So. I love stick bugs. You got two more locked in the chamber. Don't test me. I'm shaking in me boots. I'm literally shaking in me boots. But yeah, whatever the fuck that thing is, it is number four. Okay, Jonathan, please be safe. Alrighty. Are we no, I, that no, no I don't. Safe? There we go. Number three, the Brazilian black tarantula. This is actually a dream pet of mine one day to have. They have a very, very, Blaze can welcome. See the cockroach dancing? See the cockroach dancing? We like him. I love a Brazilian black. They're very docile and people compare their temperaments to being the black Labrador of tarantulas. For people who aren't super into dogs, uh, labs are very good, very good family pets. They tend to be good with children. They tend to be like, High energy, but relatively easygoing and nice. So I do really want to own a Brazilian black tarantula one day. She is gorgeous. She's stunning. They're also one of the larger tarantula species. So, you know, that's always a little, that's always a little fun. Gotcha. But yes, I would, I would want, one day I will have one. When I live in a house in which I'm able to have like a bug room, so the Subi doesn't have to look at a spider all the time. It'll happen. Number two, we have the Darth Vader Mantis. These guys are silly. 1-800 silly. <gasps> Hina, if you could send that to me in my Discord, I would love that. What is Hina sending? Hina found a YouTube channel that's just about going out in the wilderness in different countries to find and record critters. I follow a guy on TikTok who is, who like goes out to the Florida Everglades and he calls crocodiles puppies. And it's really good. It's really funny. He'll just reach down into the water and just like pull them out with his bare hands. Love that. So this guy is just super silly. Technically they're called a ghost mantis. The nickname Darth Vader mantis obviously came after Star Wars. The all black coloration that you guys see in the corner is actually the rarest coloration of the ghost mantis. Um, typically they're a little bit more of like that really dark brown, almost maroon color of the other two pictures that I have included. I love praying mantises. I think they're metal as fuck. And personally, I'm actually really glad they aren't human sized because I would be natural prey for them. I'd be natural prey for them. They are very, they're so fucking strong, comparatively speaking, like for their size. And they eat hummingbirds. Them committing cannibalism after mating is very Lilith core. Ooh, I'm blushing. But yeah, no, I, I remember one time when I was younger, one of my most formative memories was watching a documentary that included mantises and how the male's body kept moving into the mating process, even though it didn't have a head. And my, I remember my mom going, oh, that's just sick. We're turning this off. <laughs> It was really funny. That was really good. But yeah, I like, she's just like, I'm hungry during sex. I have the munchies. And she just takes off his head. That's why I like so many comics where it's like, honey, do you want sex? I have protection. And it's him wearing yeah, a helmet. helmet. It's him wearing a helmet. Are you guys ready for Bug's number one bug? Because I don't think you are. Subi, do you know who my number one bug is? I don't think I remember. You, okay, you'll remember as soon as you see it. Okay. Oh, wait, yes, I do, because you haven't said him yet. So I know. I do know. I got excited. I'm sorry. That, no, that's okay. That's okay. I'm glad you were excited. I just got a little frightened. Because <laughs> I got so excited. Because you got so excited. And you started, you started knocking everything down. Oh, your tail went your everywhere. Your tail went everywhere. 
it is the African Armored Cricket. Doo, 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 doo. These guys are fucking silly. They're silly as fuck. Some of them have a little bit of an attitude when you keep them. But there's an account I follow on TikTok who he's a big bug guy. He has an armored cricket named Frederick, who is the nicest armored cricket in the world. Like, look at them. That's Kamen Rider, baby. That's Kamen Rider, baby. Look at them. I am seriously so obsessed with these little guys. I want to kiss them on the lips. But I can't. Because they're so small. And my lips are so strong. Your lips are so strong. My lips are so strong. These guys don't think. They're like tough little buggers. I love Frederick in the typical MMO name font. His name is Frederick. Every time a Frederick update drops, I like have to drop everything and find Suvi and go Frederick update. It's true. It's true. It's true. I love them. They, to me, there's just something so charming about Frederick. He looks, I don't know. Like he looks like a little cartoon character. And I just, I just love him. I just love him a lot. So thank you for guys for joining me on my top five favorite bugs. Is there a bug that I should have included on the list that you're bummed I didn't include on the list? I'd be curious. What's everyone's number one bug? I know a lot of you probably think about other stuff, but, but it's time to think about, about this now. Bug. But it's time to think about your favorite bug right now. Hercules beetle, Lilith, you have fucking taste. Lilith, you have fucking taste. We've been now. Oh, he not, he is just a little guy. A bullet ant? Oh, Joker, that's metal. Bullet ants are like, kind of intimidating. They're called bullet ants because their bite is comparable to getting shot. And if that doesn't scare you, great, you're tougher than me. That's awesome. You're not a bug fan, but you like that goth mantis you showed? Yes, the Darth Vader mantis. Rain, fluffy moths. Originally, I was going to do a top 10 favorite bugs, but... I kind of got a little overwhelmed about it. And I was going to include, um, I think it's, oh man, it's like the pink and yellow really fluffy moth. So cute. Morpho butterflies and bees. Bees are also unsung heroes. Like so good for the environment. So good for the environment. I also okay. do like the, um, the death's head moth. I know it's stereotypical, but Silence of the Lambs was a really good movie and I'm easily influenced. I'm easily influenced. I think mantises are in general your favorite type of bug, but you don't have a favorite singular bug. That's very valid. If I had to pick like a category of bugs, it would either be tarantulas or beetles. But there are more be be types of beetle species than there are people on the planet. So you know what? God really loves his beetles. Alrighty, I have a testimonials page here of things people have said about me that I think is very funny. You stole my fun fact. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm such a fun guy. I love stealing fun facts. Uh, I really like when Daunted said, you are not female, you are a bug. I am, thank you. Jonathan also said, I just want to rob you guys blind, then I'll let you go. Bugs Twitch motto, which is not true. I would never rob you guys, but if you did leave your wallets, I wouldn't necessarily return them. And this one is something Suvi said quite a while ago. What did I say? You can do many things right. You are just doing things wrong on purpose, and you are very good at that. I don't even remember saying that. I don't know. I have a few screenshots of things. That... Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm obsessed with myself. I'm obsessed with you, too. Another one that almost made it in was Subi going, I'm sorry, and me going, are you apologizing for not, uh, what was it? Who was it for? <laughs> for not, no, me not wanting to fuck someone or else. No, that. no, for not, for like not being Ronald Reagan. It was something like that. We were <laughs> yes. talking about Ronald Reagan. <laughs> right, you were like, I'm sorry. Uh, are you apologizing Just for not, not being Ronald, Ronald Reagan? Reagan? Like, I was like, Subi, what are you talking about? <laughs> But that one was less of a testimonial about me and a little bit more of more a testimonial of about Subi. Um, I'll apologize for anything if I think I did wrong. Subi will apologize for not being Ronald Reagan. Even though, really, if you were Ronald Reagan, that's when you would have to, have apologize. to apologize. But Ronald Reagan wouldn't apologize. But Ronald Reagan has never apologized. But now he's dead. So we can go uh, 
enjoy the first gender neutral bath uh, bathroom, which is his gravesite. <laughs> this is me, Bog. Age, old enough. Bug. Gender, I'm not female, bug. I'm just Bug. They then pronouns are best. I don't really mind she, her, so far as, so long as I'm not called, like, girl or woman. Um, I also actually don't even mind he, him pronouns either. Again, so not, so long as you guys don't call me, like, oh, that's a man right there. No, I'm just a bug. My birthday is on August 1st. Yeah, Eden? He's screaming a lot. Can you go get him? I think he's sad. Yeah. Uh, my sun sign is Leo, but my moon and my rising sun signs are Scorpio, which I think just means I'm a major bitch sometimes. Uh, astrology's fun. I am just over five foot four, uh, like right under that five foot five mark, about 165 centimeters. She, her, in the same way you talk about a cool bug you found on the side of the road. Exactly, like, ah, she's a beauty, isn't she? Like, that's me. That's me. My occupations are buzzing around, startling you, appearing from crevices that you would least expect me. Um, I do also have a job as a veterinary nurse. So I do have some pretty crazy stories. When you deal with the general public, it does shape you in a certain way. Um, and I came out of it stronger, but a lot of people get broken by it, which is so valid. I do love to play video games. I love to write and I'm obsessed with my cats. Not just my cats, but cats in general. Anytime there's a but cute- especially our cats. But especially our cats. If you wanted to see pictures of my cats, I guess you'll just have to join the Discord. <laughs> my favorite colors are orange and red. I do also like yellow. So really like the colors of the sunrise, throw a little purple in there. Mwah, beautiful. I'm in a loving relationship of over six years to, to whatever the fuck this thing is. Hee <laughs> hee. It's a little Suvi. I'm obsessed with this artist Suvi, by the way. I think it's so perfect. It really That's just, what I look like. That it, is seriously what you look like. It encapsulates me. It is so seriously what you look like. I'm not even joking. Should add a little um, Pikmin stem to it. Oh, okay. I'll consider that for next time. I'll consider that for next time. Things I like. Bubble tea, brown sugar, and honeydew are my favorite flavors. I drink a lot of bubble tea, and it's not good for me. I also love sushi. I I can gobble up so much salmon. Sometimes, Watch out, ocean. Sometimes Bug drinks so much boba tea that it makes their tummy hurt. Sometimes I do drink so much bubble tea, my tummy hurts. Which is why I limit myself to only getting one. Even though, really, I want to. I like animals, go figure, especially bugs. I feel like every living thing deserves kindness until it's mean to me. Then it can explode. And of course, I also love tokusatsu. Monsters, rubber men. The more they punch each other, the more fun I'm having. The more they fall down those stairs. The more they fall down those fucking stairs, the better. I hate cold weather. I'm not a winter person. My feet and my hands get very frozen. I don't like when people are rude. I am a firm believer of you don't have to be nice to people, but you do have to be polite. Especially if you work in a... What? Um, meringue was on the table. <gasps> meringue was on the fucking table. I also hate when TV, TV commercials are louder than the show you're watching. Where it's like, your cock doesn't work! Call 1-800 no cock! And like, I was watching like a really sensitive movie. It makes me so fucking mad. It makes me so mad. I do think people who direct commercials should get shot sometimes. Winter is the best though. Wrong. And correct. False. Nope. Uh-uh. No, sir. Bad. Very bad. Sorry, I really don't like winter. Not only do I get, I have regular depression, but my seasonal depression is really bad. You guys like, you like when you go outside and the air stings? You like that? You sick fucks. I can't stand it. I hate winter. I hate being, yes. Okay, I, at least you're honest. I do respect the honesty. Um, and also what I hate, peas. Ooh, if you put a bowl of peas in front of me, I'm slapping them away. Suvi has been trained to slap peas away from me. Mm -hmm. It's like a sleeper agent. They could be dead asleep and they wake up and 
No the bowl monkeys. goes scattering. No monkeys. Good thing you're not a duck. Exactly. Good thing I'm not a duck. I met a girl in Overwatch earlier today who's rehabilitating two ducks. And she was like, we have to win this match really fast because in 10 minutes, more ducks are getting delivered to my home. And she named them Linda and Karen. That's really good. Her, her tag name was Toe Eater. That's less good. I'm obsessed with her brain. So we became friends. I added her as a friend. That's good. Yes. So just, you know, just a fun little fact of when you put yourself out there in the world, people will talk about ducks to you. You can learn a lot about people and ducks. Linda and Karen, I asked her to give them a kiss for me. And she said she would, so. If she doesn't, she's a big old liar. Big old liar. And God will never forgive her. So Other important things about me, I am chronically ill, which the big reason I did want to point that out is I oftentimes don't stream for more than three hours at a time because of it. My hands hurt, I get really sore, and I get very tired very quickly. But that being said, I would like to try to build myself up to doing a little bit longer streams at some point, you know, building my endurance. Um, I am a published writer and I would, I want to be continued to be published. So I'm going to work on it. I'm also a cosplayer. COVID, unfortunately, really knocked down a lot of, um, motivation. Uh, yeah, that's the word. Thank you. Motivation to cosplay, but I'm slowly getting back into it. Uh, I've started a new Instagram. My old Instagram had a decent amount of followers. I had over a thousand followers, which I think half of them are now like inactive accounts, but that's why I restarted. So I do like to cosplay. It's fun. And another fun fact, I can smell ants. I can smell ant pheromones. It smells like, like ink, kind of fruity ink. Chemical. Chemical. It smells like chemical. But yeah, so just invite me over. I'll sniff out some ants for you guys. Ants! I smell ants! I smell ants! Sorry, I'm eating more snow caps. These are things I like! Games. Hollow Knight, obviously. I love Final Fantasy XIV. I did put World of Warcraft on here, but the relationship I have with World of Warcraft, if I was on Facebook, it would be It's Complicated. Because I'm very fond of the game up to Cataclysm. But I hate Blizzard. So I haven't touched WoW in a very long time. But I do think about her sometimes and I do miss her. I love the Kirby series. My favorite Kirby game is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Um, based, 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 based. Love Kirby. That, that, he's just a friend. He's a friend. I like him. I also love Castlevania, even though the games make me, like, throw up. Yes, Otto, Lilith, I have taste. I do really like the Halo series and other various RPG makers. Music-wise, I like Dukai, which is, uh, which is Dreamcatcher. I don't love the name. It's not the most culturally sensitive, but they are my favorite K-pop group. I've seen them live twice now. Yeah. Love them. Can't get enough of them. A real situation ship with WoW. <laughs> you should see my wife. Yeah. I also love the Crane Wives. I love that folky music. Daughter when I'm sad. I love One O'Clock. It's not One OK Rock. It's One O'Clock. Real fans know that. They're a Japanese rock band. Love them. I also love Sekai no Awari. A Wonder, Otto, various Vocaloid producers. I really like, for example, Orange Star and Deco 27 and the Cocteau Twins. I am a goth. I do like gothic music. I'm not crazy into it, but I like what I like. Hina, let's play Halo right now and kiss. I love the Arbiter. He's, that's... Oh my god! I like the Arbiter. I like Garrus. I like Alien Men! I'm Garrett, seeing a trend! Garrus, Garrus, I would like you guys to know Subi has never played a Mass Effect <laughs> game, but I have a Garrus body pillow, and just from that, Subi loves him. Which is, like, based. My favorite anime and manga is One Piece. If you guys don't like One Piece, I don't, I'm a firm believer that you have not read One Piece. It's an amazing story. The anime is good up until the time skip. 
Which then, unfortunately, which one we playing? Halo Reach now. Love One Piece. And convinced if you don't like One Piece, you have not given it a fair shot. That being said, if people go, oh, I just don't think I can get into something that long, that's fair. But when people are like, oh, a thousand chapters and you still haven't found the One Piece. It's like, yeah, because Luffy is dismantling the slavery system. Okay? He has other things to do. He's working on it. He's overthrowing the government. Like, damn, give him a minute. Give him a fucking minute. The anime, he's a terrorist? Absolutely he is, and we we root for him. Yay! Yay, terrorism! Wano anime kind of goaded, not gonna lie. I watched the um, the Gear 5 get animated, and people were like, oh, it's Looney Tunes. But they were saying it like it was negative. Like, yeah, bro, it's really fucking awesome. Gear 5 fucking rules. Anyway, I do think there's fair reasons not to like One Piece, but... The fact that it's long is not one of them. I love Hunter x Hunter. You were fucking telling Link it's a thousand episodes, but only One Piece can make everything in 1,000 episodes relevant. Very true. I don't necessarily so believe that in the anime because they had to inflate the anime with a lot of flashbacks, and unfortunately, the animators are not really getting paid fairly, nor are they getting the time they really need to animate. Um, but yeah, every single chapter... In One Piece has a purpose. Every single chapter. Even though things you think don't make sense, there will be a callback to it. Because that's how good of a storyteller Oda is. Granted, Oda has his issues. <coughs> mainly, when it terms, ma mainly when it comes to misogyny. But, and there are absolutely things you can criticize He's about One Piece. But you cannot deny his skill with world building, building and the fact that you can call things back from like the first chapter is fucking insane. It's insane. I love One Piece. I really do. Hunter Hunter, love Hunter Hunter. It is such an important series to me. That's all I can say about it is. Rain, right, I agree. If the, if the women had internal organs, it would be amazing. Oda's biggest crime was making Robin lose her melanin. This, this, this. this. this, this. He took her hairline and her color. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Disgusting. I like a lot of the post time skip designs, but Robin's hairline is not it. Don't get me started on Oda's disrespect towards Sanji's character trope. Right? He's supposed to be chivalrous, but they made him an incel. Lilith, Robin is the fucking best! I love her! I love Chopper. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. I want to pick him up and rattle him. Anyways, mm. you've tried watching One Piece, it failed to impress you, and you have zero intention of reading the manga. But that's because I hate reading. You're so valid. See, there are very valid reasons not to like One Piece or not get into One Piece, but I do find it very funny when it's like, do you think it's the number one manga, like, with a thousand chapters just for like shits and giggles? Like, do you like, think it's gone it's this on this long without, yeah. like... Without good reason? Exactly. Danta Niwaru is Laughing Under the Clouds. It's a really sweet story about three brothers and... And... De is demons? Demons? Anyways, it did have an anime adaptation which truthfully failed to impress me. But it was still done beautifully, so I'm not, like, mad at the anime. If you guys really like art style and art... And just like a really cool family story, Danton Iwaru is the way to go. It's a pretty easy read. I personally really love it. I also love a lot of Junji Ito's works, especially his short stories. He has a bunch of published collections. There's a reason he's considered the master of horror manga. I do also like Chainsaw Man. It's, it's fun. Hey! That's fun. That's fun. That's all right. That's fun. I don't really like, have a good reason for liking Chainsaw Man other than, hey, that's fun. I like it. What are your thoughts on part two? I like it. I don't like have strong feelings on it. Um, I really like Asa, I think. And I feel like if I didn't like Asa as much, part two wouldn't work for me. But since I like her so much as a protagonist, I think it works. 
Lanka! Everybody's favorite cyber cat boy. You stopped reading CSM at the beginning of the chapter where your favorite dies and never looked at it again. Rain is your favorite angel devil. Am I like right? Am I reading you correctly? Yo, is that a fucking cat? It is a fucking cat. Lanka is so cat-like. How did you know? Oh, I, I knew it. Kane, we've been, we've it's been such- It's almost like- uh, We've known each other for like 10 years now. I had a feeling it was Angel Devil. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lanka. I hope you have a wonderful day at work. I hope it goes very well, very smoothly, and you have no issues. Mwah! Thank you for stopping by. I do love Licorice Recoil. Lesbians. Lesbians and, and spy stuff? Like, it's cool. That's it. That's cool. It has gay man. It has gay black man. And he and he rocks. I love Sensei. He's a funny guy. He's literally so cool. He's so fun. I love him. Yeah, Rain, you really do have a type. I was just thinking, I was like, it's definitely Angel Devil, isn't it? And it was. And it was. I love Licorice Recoil. I love lesbians. I also love another, another, I have not read the novel yet, but I really like the anime. It was fun. Mei Misaki is like, like an iconic horror girl. And for that, we have to stand. And for that, we have to stand. Gun to your head. Answer right now is FMA the best anime. Did you watch Gundam for Space Lesbians? Okay. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist is one of the best animes. Yes. Absolutely. Both the O3 and Brotherhood. I have not watched, um, I have not watched the Gundam lesbian series, the, the Mercury one, yet. I really want to. We'll watch it together. We will watch it together. I'm very excited about it. I tried to watch one of the Gundam with you, and it unfortunately did not do it for me, but did I feel we like- Did to watch one of the Gundam? I feel like we did. And it didn't do it for me, but I feel like if I were to go back now, I would view it differently. Um... No, I do need to watch the other lesbian, though. Which Gundam? I don't remember Red Joker. It was so many years ago. It was at, like, the beginning of our relationship. I and I remember, remember I just her. couldn't get into it. But to be fair, we started watching it really late at night, and I remember falling asleep during the second episode. I don't think Joker has heard of Gundam. Gundam is really cool because you can buy things and build them. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. That's not what I meant to say. That was the, the most interesting explanation I feel like you could have ever given. Hey, th you can build stuff. You can build Did you stuff. know things can be built? For the low, low price of like $700 for some of those Gundam kits? <gasps> the low, low price! <laughs> <laughs> um, and my favorite books, I love Watership Down. Good Omens. Suffer the Children is a really creepy horror novel. Um... One that I probably would not recommend for a lot of my friends, though, because it has a lot of child death in it, and I think can be very easily upsetting. I also have to say I love Oedipus Rex and Antigone. I love Greek tragedies, especially Anne Carson's translation of them. Do we have the book, Suffer the Children? We do not. I read it online. Okay. Just wondering. Okay. Anyway. Um, Oedipus Rex and Antigone, if you guys read Anne Carson's transcription and translation of them, you come out of it a different fucking person. I'm so serious. We begin in the dark and birth is the death of us. Are you fucking kidding me, Ann Carson? Blech! Anyways, that quote changed me as a person. I also really like Hamlet. I like Shakespeare. I'm gonna try and go back to sleep. Mwah! I love you. Sleep tight. Bye, uh, everyone. Sophie said goodnight. Sophie has to go back to bed before work. I love Greek tragedies. I think they're really good. I also think... If you know how to watch a tragedy, it changes the way you're able to view things and real life and other media. And overall, I think it's just a positive thing. Because the actor you really liked was in a Hamlet play and you wanted to know about his character. Hamlet's good. It's a little crazy, but it's good. If you're horny, into horny and fun shit, you really recommend Spitfire by Maya Kern. Okay. I will add that to my list. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. You might enjoy the original God of War series. I have not played God of War. 
in a very long time. So I am interested in revisiting it. I remembered really liking the games. I think I played the first two, but it's been so long that I don't think I could really tell you much about it. There's Boy. I remember Boy. There's Boy. Anyways, everyone should watch Kamen Rider Blade. Speaking of tragedies, everyone should watch Kamen Rider Blade. It is my favorite Kamen Rider series. The suits are sexy. The story is really good. I really like the monster designs, the suit designs, the writing, the acting. The cast is a really strong cast. It's the best Kamen Rider. I love it. I love a lot of Kamen Rider, though. Speaking of which, I have my Kamen Rider tier list right here. Blade is perfect to me. And I accept no criticism on this series. Every line is written because a holy ghost possessed, possessed us all. Possessed us all. The same man who wrote the Full Metal Alchemist 03 series wrote Blade. That's right. I know. Ryuki changed my brain chemistry. I will never view media the same way. Build also changed my brain chemistry. You found out your favorite stage actor plays a guy in Kamen Rider Revice the Mystery. You don't know anything about it, but he's there. I'm so sorry, King. You got cast into Revice. That's rough. And you found out yesterday that Sabin tried making a Kamen Rider esque Kamen Rider around the time season three. I could not see the second show in the had to drop due to the captions. X Aid? I just couldn't get into X Aid. Was the was it the font or Oh sorry, my oh my captions are covering it. I'm so sorry. I understand now. I understand. Sorry, yes, it's Common Rider X Aid. O's also changed me as a person. I really like the ending of it. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jonathan. I understand now. I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> I thought Rain was talking about how, like, the captioning of the series made it impossible. Rain, you are perfectly clear. I, um, I'm just brain dead sometimes. <laughs> I love Fies, Black, Kuga, J, Stronger, Double, Forze, Wizard. Anyone who doesn't like Wizard because they say Haruto's a bad character, don't trust them. That's a red flag. Haruto's just a depressed man and who's recovering from a very serious traumatic event. And so if you go into the series with that mindset, you go, oh, this makes a lot more sense. I like Fies, I know, I know. You had to drop Geats, it's Gaim too. I hate Geats, I cannot do Geats again. I cannot, hello, Chaplain Lee, welcome into the Beetle Grove. I hope you enjoy your, your gunslinging cockroach that you caused to appear on the screen. <gasps> Wishy Pow, hello! I was in your Dead Rising stream earlier. I hope it, the rest of it went well for you. Oh gosh, a cowboy roach. Um, listen, I know Fives was a little controversial, and I think it's totally fair when people hate it, but I loved it because it was exactly like a, like a Greek tragedy playing out. If I pretend Inoue wrote it like that on purpose, it helps a lot. Otherwise, there are some typical Inoue issues of miscommunication and... A little bit of misogyny, I know, I know, I know. I liked Decade, I don't really have that much to say. Gaim and Shin Kamen Rider changed me, but maybe for the worse. I feel like I hold the unpopular opinion. I didn't think Shin Kamen Rider was very good, personally. Um, I do need to rewatch it, though, because the first time I saw it was in theaters when it was released back in May, I believe. Rootin' tootin' roach, yay, or roach like Geralt's horse. Oh my god, chap, I'm so sorry to be like, what's wrong? His eye. What's Look wrong with his eye? Look at his left eye. Oh, oh okay. Look okay. how good it is. Oh, yeah, it is really irritated, buddy. Oh, I think he has a little conjunctivitis going on. We'll keep an eye on it if I need to do some, we need to do some ointments or something, we can. I think it's just his conjunctive us a little. Phew, inflamed. Rain, if you want, we can watch it together. I do need to, I really need to um, rewatch it. Sorry, chap, I found out 
that the horse who played Roach in the Witcher series passed. So they had to they had to recast her. I know, it's really sad. It's not something I think you think about. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like Shin Kamen Rider, but I think I need to give it another shot because in theaters, it was a very weird experience for me. I'm trying not to suicide bait you right now are the three series I really don't like. Geats? Bad. It's turning into Gaim 2, but somehow worse. Gaim, at least to me, every episode was really interesting. Geats is... It's a lot. Drive, I hate Drive. Drive goes against everything Common Rider stands for, in which the monsters, like, have a human side, etc., etc. I hate the way the roid mutes are treated, and also the fact that Kiriko cannot transform for whatever bullshit reason, but her younger brother can transform is, like, there's... It doesn't make any sense. Kiriko makes a much better protagonist, but then they, like, have her just, you know, go off and whatever. Also, it's about cops. Uh, <clears throat> At one point, Shinosuke goes, what do I look like, the pizza delivery guy? The series would have been a lot better if he was a pizza delivery guy. Instead, he's a cop. And also Kabuto, because I hate Tendo Soji as a main writer. He's a funny character. Kabuto did a lot to me. And I don't like it. I'm still working on going through Revice, Ghost, Amazon, the original, and Black RX. Um, some of these series have got, gone a little further than others. Revice, I'm still stuck at like episode 38, I want to say. No, like 42. I think we're, if we're really close to the end. I just don't have... I'm just like not interested in getting through it. And yeah. I had to drop Kiva and X-Aid because... Kiva has Inoue's problems, I feel, multiplied by 10. And X-Aid, I just can't stand most of the cast. I really like the main rider in X-Aid, but a lot of the side riders, I'm like, I could do without you and your video game disease. So I did have to drop it, even though the, I'll be honest with you, the OP, the OP slaps. It's really good. X-Aid, X-Aid, da-na, da-na, X-Aid, X-Aid, like, it's, it's good. My goals for the next year. I would like to get to that 500 followers mark. I don't know if I'll actually get there, but it seems fun. I do really want to do more ASMR. I did it, like, at the beginning of my streaming career, quote, unquote. And then I kind of dropped it. But I want to get back into that. I'm going to get into Mortal Kombat for real. I've always been, like, teetering at the edge of, am I really into this or not? But I'm going to actually do it. I want to do more song covers, which means I need to be a little stricter about my... Um, stricter to myself about recording things. I want to get better at Japanese. I don't have a good excuse for why I stopped studying Japanese other than I think I just got lazy. I've also been auditioning for voice actor stuff and at some point I really hope to land a VA role and want to try. I'll play GG's with you if you ever try it. Ooh, that sounds fun. You'll fight me in MK. Jonathan, we could just fight each other IRL. We could just, like, meet at Taco Bell or something and fight. That'd be fun. I would like to release an original song at some point. Um, again, that's, like, meh. Like, I'm not too, too worried about it in the near future. Like, obviously, you know, I'd like to do it at some point, but I'll practice with my covers first before I go into writing stuff. And I do want to do more collabs with my friends. I have really fun, interesting friends. And this past year of streaming, I was doing a lot of streaming solo to release a diss track. <laughs> pineapple upside down, yeah. In the toilet, I make it brown, yeah. I love pineapple upside down. Thank you, Wonder Waffle! I do think my, my model looks fabulous. My mom and papa birthed someone beautiful. They birthed someone beautiful to me. Uh, but yeah, I want to do more collabs. I have amazing friends in this past year I've really been focusing like on myself and how I want to improve my streaming But I, I would like to you know I'd like to showcase other people too And I also think it's really fun when people do collabs because the dynamic of them changes and Again, I, I have some really cool friends And I'd like to show them off. I want to show them off Mama e papa Mama e papa Mads, my good friend Mads, helped me a lot with my design and my reference sheet. I had like a ton of ideas and I kind of threw them all at him and he made it into something coherent and 
gorgeous. Like, look at me. I'm stunning. So without him, I don't think I would have gotten this far. My mama. Right there, Kay. She did a fabulous job with me. She was just awesome to commission. And I'm really, really grateful. And then, of course, my papa is Yama, who brought me to life and was just really receptive of everything I told him. I just said I wanted something really bouncy and I want my wings to flutter. And from there, as you can see, he really brought me to life with these expressions and my mouth and just everything. He did so good. He did such a good job. Right, Mary? I'm really appreciative of, of all the people who contributed and went into this. Because without it, Bug wouldn't be here. Bug wouldn't be here. I would just be a disembodied voice for you guys. And then I, of course, have some special thanks to my best mod, Jonathan. I know we give each other a lot of shit wanting to fight at Taco Bell and stuff, but without him, I don't think my streams would be as successful. He bans all those bots really fucking good. He does a really good job at bot control, which is very important to me. Uh, of course, I do also need to thank my partner, Suvi, who encourages me to stream even when I'm not feeling my best because they say streaming usually makes you feel better. I think you need to get your mind off of it. Go for it. You can always do a short stream if you like. Nine out of ten times, they're right. And, of course, without their monetary assistance as well, I would not be able to do all the things I'm able to do. So I'm very grateful for that. And that that's the end of my debut slide. Hey, guys. Sorry. <sighs> one second here. My cats are being like, <laughs> sorry, one sec. Get off the table! Okay, sorry about that. My cats were being uh, naughty and bad. In fact, so much so that there's a lot of skittering going on. And I think we're going to have to put an end to that. Wachah! That's right. It's Hollow Knight speed run time. I'm going to see how fast I can get through this game. I'm going to get through it all tonight. I'm not. That's a lie. I'm not going to be able to. But let's go! Whoop, 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 whoop! Lil, I almost had a little, like, I was like, oh, Layla saw on my, on my, on my bar that I'm going to do Hollow Knight later. So, I thought that was really funny. Because so that was my debut intention all along. <gasps> Hi! You're a strong one. Quirrell, I love Quirrell. You're my best friend in the world. Quirrell, my best friend in the world. Well, it's my game. Of course I'm going to notice it whenever I can. That's because you have taste. We are back at the beginning with a new save file. It's funny because I've been referencing my Hollow Knight streams quite a bit. Um, but I've had so many like new, new followers and new friends come along that a lot of people go, Oh, I'm sad I missed it. Not anymore. Because I got you covered. Because I got you covered. Of course, starting from the beginning without some of my, um, without some of my, my, my add-ons and my flying, uh, abilities and my cloaks does kind of suck, but it's also, you know, very fun. Because I know what's, I know what's coming now. I know what's coming. Think about the first time I showed up and it makes you giggle. I, when we all started screaming, because it was Lilith, the game music's really quiet. Okay, I'll fix that. Thank you, Jonathan. Hopefully this is, this is reading a little bit better, I think. Get over here, you little snoot snoot. Yes, we we're like, Ben's girlfriend! And we all started screaming, and it was really an ungodly sound, but all that matters is we had fun. This is the grub lord. He's crying because all his grub babies are gone. Isn't that sad? It was the best day of my life. Lilith, every stream you show up is so special to me. Lilith was giving all the speedrunning lore. Yes! And I learned a lot. You have more, actually? Tell me more. 
Please spread your knowledge. Spread your knowledge. Ah! Okay, I do- I did forget how much I fucking hate that I can't jump. Good? That sucks. You want to get a vice stamp off of Mercari? Go! Go, bestie, go! Get that vice stamp. I was at the con and I saw, um, Sakura and Hana's vice stamps for sale. And I was like, damn, if I liked Revice more, I would have gotten it. But I do love Sakura and Hana, so that is all that matters. There's a speed run that takes about 40 hours to complete. Oh, how fast can it be? I'm so sorry, Jonathan. Work should, should not call you on the weekends. Evil and twisted. It's the bat one with Kagero and Daiji's voice lines. Hell yeah! I do have to say, when it comes to Revice, the, the suit designs really confused me. Because I didn't read Kagero as a bat. I read him as an orca whale. Like, he looks like an orca whale to me. And it was like, bat by stamp. And I went, oh, okay, yeah. I would love to purchase a map. Thanks, bestie. She's always so excited to see you. Low percent runs are insane. Saying it took less time, but they made it take longer because they found a glitch to shave off the total percent of the game. Oh shit! Man, the second Silk Song comes out, I'm like calling out of work because it's Silk Song time, guys. I'm so excited for Silk Song to come out. But I'm also glad that Team Cherry is like, we're delaying it, we need more time. I just wanna know how people figure out how to do speed running. Because they, they're they like, oh yeah, if you if you hit this cliff three times, like who, would, who in the world would ever think to, to do that? But it's cool. Oh, welcome in, Beansy. The new Dead Man's Trio stamps came out with the voice lines, all three in one box, on October. Those are your babies, the Dead Man, are all that matter. They're all that matter. In Revice, I love Sakura and the Deadmans. And I'm right to do so. And I'm right. But yes, we're just going to run 1-800 slap in time. I like the guys who fart when they die, because same. I fart when I get scared too. And there's a little grub. I need to rescue this grub. I need a grub plush still. Oh, basically you have to get to the beehive and farm the bees for dream essence, which saves like 1% total. And as I'm like two hours to the run, you can only do it if you can hit a skip that got re-added to the game. Damn. The beehive is also like one of the most annoying places to, to be at though. I remember so many deaths came from there because those big bees that just tumble everywhere are really tough. Oh, hey. Hey. Don't you be jumping at me. Oh, you nasty little rhino beetle. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat the, the shit out of you now. Prepare to die. Prepare to blow up. Rain, I feel the same way about speedrunners. It's like, you are not, you guys are not normal, but God bless you anyways. Beetles, am I right? Psh. You can only hit slow ball by shooting it at a curved wall. Damn. Again, like the way people think of, think of things and notice things in the game to be able to do that shit. I don't feel like, I don't have the patience for that. But at the same time, when people dedicate their whole lives to like one video game, crazy. Love it. Your normal stretch. Lilith, are you normal? Please be honest. Please be honest. Are you are you normla? Are you normla? Hey, bestie. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. Ow. Why would you ever hit why would you ever hit bug? I'm just a little guy. Look at how small I am. You can't be mean to me. But yes, I changed my channel point names to Lightning Bug Hugs, like the song. Because I get a thousand hugs from 10,000 Lightning Bugs. Isn't that cute? That's why they have little hearts. Because they love you, but watch out. When bugs are discovered by people in other communities, speedrunners will look into the bugs to see if it can help them complete a game faster. That makes, 
that makes a lot more sense. So it's not just necessarily them, it's like a whole community collaborative event. Half of figuring out speedrunning is just running a game thinking, I could have done that better. You used to speedrun the Halo Infinite campaign for fun. You're built some different stuff than I am. But it's impressive and fun to find these kind of strats as well. Signalis? Alright, I'll have to add it to my list. Right now, I gotta get through them. Ow. Ow. Hey. Knock it off. I I don't think I'm familiar with Signalis. Ow. Owies. Jeez. Signalis. What kind of game is this? Like an RPG or? Ow. Motherfucker. It's not having my dash really fucks me up. You got moon into it and you're obsessed? All right, I will definitely add it to my list. I'm curious. I'm a curious little guy. 130 deaths. Crushed by bug that is bigger than me. Which I don't think should ever happen, in my humble opinion. Ow. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I'm trying to walk you. My first death of the stream. I'm not doing a good job um, surviving, huh? It's a horror indie game heavily inspired by Silent Hill and Resident Evil. It's more, You thought it was more like psychological thriller. Survivor horror in the style of a PS1 era game. Okay, Ooh, that sounds up, right up my alley. I loved Silent Hill 2 and 3. So, I'm down. Fuck it, I'm down. I'm down. I know the law, baby. Let's go. Whoop. Whoop. Think you got your time down to two hours or something? Oh my god. Hina, you are built different. I'm so serious. <laughs> Alright, there's my ghosty. With how much a glitch run can break a game. I'm just, truthfully, overall very impressed with anyone who is able to do, like, anything. Ow. Ow! How did I beat these guys beforehand? You got humbled real fast, huh? Anytime you think you're good at something and you look it up and someone does it better, I do feel like a little part of me wither away and die. Oh, into the mines, into the mines. I am built pretty. Thank you so much. And I shouldn't have to work for anything. I like the little song she sings about death and whatever. Like a minute or an hour 45. Myla, you're the best. I love you. I love how she sings about death. Hour 45. That's still impressive. I thought you were going to say a minute 45, and I was about to, like, have to kiss you on the lips. That would be fucking crazy. Bonkers. Bonkers wild. And then I won't be able to do this yet. Cause I'll need my big boy stamp down. So the time of you completing it was like fourth in the- Holy shit! You should be proud of yourself! That's really big! And impressive! And crazy! There are games that have sub minute speed runs. When I watched, um, Summer Games Done Quick, the Elden Ring run only took like an hour, which is still impossible for me to fathom. Because he did one of the boss fights blindfolded. He was like, yeah, I have to listen, so everyone please make sure you just don't clap so I can hear. And then he fucking did it! Like, what? Like, what do you mean you did it blindfolded? I can't even do it on easy mode! That's not fair. Paper Mario, where you glitch the game into Legend of Zelda and then glitch back into Super Nintendo. What are you, what is Nintendo doing to our beautiful queens? There's, of course, there's drama and speed. Ow! Oh, the speedrunner community. I saw this guy. He cheated. I saw it. Whoop. Obsessed. Obsessed. Ow. Owie. Boop, boop, boop. Whoop. 
That's what I thought. Get fucked, idiot. Caught. Caught cheating in the speed run. He said he 99%ed it, but really it was 98%. I saw it. Obsessed. This is a run for Ocarina of Time where you have five minutes to beat the game via Super Smash Bros. Brawl because it had a time demo for Ocarina of Time on it. That doesn't seem like it, that should be real. That doesn't sound correct. Are you sure? This sounds fucking unhinged. It's like load up Paper Mario, move that save file over to Ocarina of Time, get to a point in Ocarina so it flipped one bit, go back into Paper Mario, and then you shot off a firework and it would finish the game. They- And they just let you do that? For free? For free? What? Unhinged. I'm fucking sick and twisted in my humble opinion. That's just not right. <gasps> Suika! Thank you so much. Yeah, if you fucked it though, you bricked your N64?! I'm imagining this guy who's figuring it out having like 12 N64s ready just for this exact purpose. Oh my god. You guys are talking about things and I'm so scared. Suiko, welcome. It's been a hot second, so, I, so I'm glad you came back in. Don't I look fabulous and beautiful and gorgeous and everybody, like everybody likes me? My debut went off without a hitch. There's actually a few hitches, but... Mostly because I can't talk. Hee hee hee. Feeling just a little silly. Hold up, I'll go find it and put it in the disc. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad you were able to stop by for it. I hope it was worth the anticipation. The anticipation. I think maybe I'll just head into Green Path. No, I can't do that. I want to make sure I, um, I need to get my first spell first. I'm trying to remember where that is. Pretty sure it's all the way over to the right and down. It exceeded them. Excellent. Oh, yes! You should hop into the Discord. I share pictures of my cats. And it's very fun. We all have a good time. These eyes, they pierce your soul. Not a thought behind them. Not a thought behind these bad boys, but that's the way I like it. Yes, I need to go get my first spell before I even think about going into Green Path. Maybe you'll join, but you're very inactive there as well. Same. Can I, can I be honest with you guys? I will like join my friend's Discord servers and then put them on mute and never interact there again. I guess I just like to feel included, but I'm so bad about it. I'm such a hater. I'm so sorry. I'm such a hater. But those eyes, they're beautiful. Step into my abode. Rain, I'm so glad you get it. You auto mute almost every server. Yours is the only one not muted at the moment. That is funny because mine is also the only one I don't have muted at the moment. Ah! All right, I need to beat this guy up. He's like being like nasty to me. Whoop! Ow, shit. Let me heal. Y'all mute servers? Yeah, I do. And then I get notifications, and Suvius told me, like, the amount of notifications you have on Discord really stresses me out. And I was like, yeah, that's fair. Whoop. There we go. You have a lot muted. I- Everything's muted. I get scared. I get scared and stressed. You've noticed turned on on your, disc, on your phone for Discord? Same! Because if I see Discord notifications that aren't from, like- private messages or the very few group chats I have, I panic. I'm gonna be in the middle of work and go, uh, 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 and throw my phone halfway across the room. Yeah. Kind of embarrassing, but it happens. Get fucked. 
You in the Ether Hunts Discord for XIV? So your Discord has a thousand plus notifications. Do my messages stress you out, Bug? Actually, no. Oh, I mean, y yes. I mean, I don't know the right answer anymore. I'm scared. No, because I know with you, you're like, yours are never time sensitive. It's like, you leave me a message and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get to this whenever. Cause I can always send more. Chopping some grass. I do love being a little lawnmower. Wait, did I just make a giant circle? I think I did. Navigation is tough for me, guys. I'll be honest. And they waited 10 hours to reply. Oh, yeah, did I even unread that message? <laughs> Did I ever read that message? I mean, you were dying. How important could it be? No. Do do do. All you said was bomber. I do really need an emote of that, don't I? I'm constantly saying, what a bummer. Bummer. Aw, sad. Anyway. Ow. Ow, you stinky little man. Stinky little man, huh? You think you're worth? Ah! Moon got a grub plushie and took it out its voice box. Isn't that like debarking a dog? Isn't that considered cruel and inhumane? You can't do that. Oh, uh, whoops. You did the same with your dogs. I mean, what? See, Jonathan, I beat you to the joke. I beat you to the joke. I know what it's like to debark dogs. I actually don't. We'll try to go Terraria bosses. I hope you win and you don't lose. But yes, keep me on the background. I'm your, I'm your silly little cheerleader. Ooh, I'm your silly little cheerleader. Okay. What am I doing? I have no idea. All right, fun. Don't you ever try to hit me again, you little slag tight. That no one cares about. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop. You know what? Hollow Knight's a great walking simulator. And I will not apologize for that. I will not apologize for who I am. I keep walking past the path to the arena. Wait, wasn't this, isn't this the egg one? Is this not the egg one? Oh, I'm easily confused. Can I be honest with you guys? I'm so easily confused. But I'm very cute about it. Ha ha ha. No, because this is Quirrell. Hi, Quirrell. I love you. I love you. Fake Hollow Knight fan. That sounded less like crying and more like... I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just gonna eat my non pearls and, and sit down. Getting bullied in my own damn debut stream. <laughs> my own damn debut stream. Don't tell the fake knights are in you can break out of it and get the fireball spell early. Holy shit. That seems illegal. That doesn't seem like you should be able to do that. Hi, Queen. You are so sexy. If I had a wife like you at home, <laughs> I would never go out making maps, let me tell you that. Because there's only one body I need to map out over here, Zelda. <laughs> Do that to skip him and go into the City of Tears from above instead of the main doorway? Oh, damn. I'm already out of money. That's sad. Anyway. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Choppies. Just remember with the cart pulling trick in Ocarina of Time, you could skip the opening area. That's very good. See, that's very- now that's what I call good gaming content. That's good gaming content. 
is Ocarina of Time the guy with the scary moon, or is that Majora's Mask? Majora, okay. I always forget. He, he always, I don't know. He always just seems to want to speak to me. I don't know how else to explain. He calls to me. Have you heard about the Twilight Princess? Any, like, just looks at a rupee for like 15 hours to get through a wall? I have fucking not. That is insane. Can you, could you imagine if real life was like that? Like, oh, I just, I just went to my bank and I sat there until close and suddenly I could like clip through things. <sighs> it's a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time, so it's the same link, canonically. That is so fucking funny. Yeah, I just stared at my credit card, and suddenly I had the powers of God. Ow, motherfucker. Owie, oh. Nasty little man. Okay, okay, this is, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand now. What? Doink. That is just so good. I think overall I'm happy with how my overlays came out. I made them myself and I kept switching like back and forth on whether or not I actually liked it or not. Link's Awakening on the, oh, hang on. Oh, I miss, I'm missing one. One version of Twilight Princess Link was moved back a pixel. Like every minute when you picked up rupees and if you did it enough, you could clip through boss doors and dungeons and skip the dungeons or even boss. <laughs> skip screens if you select, press select right as the screen was transitioning. You used to abuse that when you were a kid. Wow, call out post for Jonathan. Being mean to video games. For shame. Hi, bestie. Ow. Oh, I was hoping to do the, um, ow, the nail bounce trick. Okay, I'm very bad at it, though. There we go. Took me a few more tries than I really would have liked to succeed there, but it happens. Link's awakening? What was, why was he taking such a long nap? Why is he taking such a long nap to begin with? He should be awake. He has chores to do. Fuck the sprite, my worst fucking enemy. Ow, stop pooping babies out. I swear to God, I could easily find a thousand babies. Whole game takes place in a dream. Oh shit. Whoop. Come on out, baby boo. Mwah. I love you. Anything for my little grublings. All right, go back up to your hidey hole. Thank you, sir. The link timeline is insanely convoluted. Same thing with the Mortal Kombat timeline. It is seriously a comic book with how many different versions of characters there are, who sleeps with who. You know, is Mylena and Katana, are they sisters or clones? Like, ugh, sheesh. It's like a whole thing. Oh, yay! I love money. Yay, yippee, yippee, yay! Yippee, yippee, I love money. It's the most traumatizing lore when you start getting into it. That shit's depressing. I do feel bad for Link. He is just like a guy. Link is literally just a man to me. There we go. Literally just a man. And we need to be nicer to him. Hi, Beansy. Hi. You don't see half the important bits, like his tits. Oh, so they, oh, so they won't show me Legend of Zelda's tits. Homophobic. Oh, I hate these guys. They're so evil to me. So you don't have to tap me. I see you, bud. I just, I'm choosing not to feed you on purpose because I don't love you. Because mommy doesn't even love you anymore. Link shirtless with his top surgery scars. He says, I hate crime. I want to see Link's 
I want to see Link's nipples now! Now! Give me Link's nipples now! Sitting on a beach, do 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 do. Hydrate with water. Okay. You beat Ganon and save the day, but there are a whole bunch of games that take place in a timeline where Link doesn't beat Ganon. So Ganon just like is evil forever. I'm scared. All right, that was water. My kiwi strawberry flavored water. Let me see Link's nipples. Now! That's ruled by Ganon and Link is just kind of dead. Oh, normal. I don't know, I mean, Ganon's... Why don't we... Okay, this is such a dumb fucking question. I feel like Suvi would have a heart attack. Oh my god, more water. <sighs> Eternal nap time. That is what they call death. Is Gan- like, Ganon's a bad guy, right? What does he- why does he want to rule Hyrule to the point- Like, what's- what would be so detrimental about him ruling Hyrule? I guess is my question. Is it because he's, like, a tyrant? Is that- is that his whole shtick? I don't know enough Legend of Zelda. He's bad, but man, is he hot. I mean, I didn't say it. <laughs> Ganon's not my type. Let me put it that way. Ow. Hey. Don't you ever hit me again. Don't you ever hit me again. Pretty sure he's the god of chaos, or the avatar at least. The avatar. But when we needed him most, he vanished! It's been thousands of years in Zelda and I just discovered the new avatar. Yeah, I've played all the Zelda games, but some of them actually show how bad it gets when he's in charge. Okay, that's good to know, I think. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's the reincarnation of the demon demise who wanted to plunge the world into chaos and destruction. Oh, that's a bummer. Has he tried like sitting outside and eating a banana? Mwah. I love you, Kane. Thank you for stopping by. It was such a joy to have you. Whoop, 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 whoop. I like the guys who fart. That's funny to me. That's funny. Fart humor always hits. Can it be in a polycule with Link and Zelda and their set of polycule would fix him? I could I could fix him. I know I could. I know I could. Give me 10 minutes with Ganon and afterwards he'll go, dear God, if you make it stop talking, I promise to be good. You know? I could, I could. It's because I'm an I'm an agent of chaos, just in a different way. Whoop. I'm just built different. I can't fix it, but I sure as shit could change him. That's what I'm saying. I could do irreparable damage to his psyche. You know? I could. I'm built different. I want to meet my stag friend. He's my best friend in the whole wide world. Yes, of course I'll insert Geo. I could fix it, but whatever he's got going on right now is way hotter. You promise? Here he is, the most important man in the world. Oh. These stagway strips stretch the depth of hollow nest. I love you so much. You're my best friend. Let me say it. Fabulous. He's just, oh, the stag beetle's just so perfect. Whoop. <laughs> Little farty noise. So funny. Hydrate. Thank you, Relic, Relic, Reliquary Doll. Oh my God, I'm just gonna call you Doll if that's okay. That's a tongue twister for me. <gasps> Yeah, he's a red flag, but I'm colorblind. So what do we do, baby? All right, so I'll drink Coke and then water. This is an interesting concoction you have boiling in my tummy right now. My tummy has fizzy bubblies. I'm so sorry, doll. Reliquary. 
I'm so sorry. Reliquary. No, that's not how you say it. I feel like I'm having a stroke on stream. If you guys, I'm so scared right now. All right, water. How many chair points for hydrate with liquor? Um, probably a lot because alcohol burns my mouth and I'm kind of a weenie. Probably because I just don't really like alcohol very much. I'm sorry. It's, for 1,000 trillion points, uh, I'll take a shot of, of liquor. Take a shot of vodka or something and then I'll die. Ow. Whoop. 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 Got him. Thankfully, you can't count that high. So I'll just lie and say I spent that money. I can't count that high. I don't have that many fingers. Please. Please. I, I, I can barely count to ten. Ten is pushing it. Ten is pushing it for me. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Goodness gracious. Wah, wah, ah! Oh, you, you stupid bitch. <gasps> if you ever jump on me again, I'll jump on your mom's bed and make love to her. See, even worse, I won't say I fucked your mom. I'll make love to your mommy. All right. Here he is, the big boss. Or one of the bosses. Let's see if I can do this in one go. I feel like I won't, but... Oh, oh, okay, well that, that one's on me, wasn't it? Whoop, little pill bug. You guys are so cute. I can't stand y'all. Do you have any kind of hopes for Silk Song with character cameos or anything, bug? I just, I, what I really want to see, I'll make your mom fall in love with me, spend 10 long years cultivating a marriage and family life, and then leave her. Jonathan, we didn't ask for your autobiography. I just really want to see, um, I want to see Hornet with, with her mom. I, I'm very, very hopeful that that is, come here, that that, we're gonna see that. Otherwise, I don't have anything specific because that's like how much I trust Team Cherry. Whoop. Whoop. Don't do that. Whoop. Jump on me, or don't you dare jump on me. Help Among Us is there, sussy baka. Lilith, I'll read your message in a in a minute. I promise. I'm just I'm in focus mode right now. Oh, I missed. That's okay. I just want to see if I can do this in one go. Don't do that to me. Whoop. Don't do that. Yes. It did it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. grow up. You're not Sigma Overwatch. Okay, I'm an adult, which means I get to hit whoever the fuck I want with my nail. Oh, shit, you dodged. That was really good. Okay, hi, Fancy. Mommy's in the middle of a boss fight. Thank you, Emmy. Oh my gosh. Hi. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a boss fight. I will actually respond, like, for realsies and stuff. Oh. Don't do that. Ah! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you now. Sound on his ass till he shards. Okay, okay guys. Okay, everyone shut the fuck up. I am the gamer of all time. I didn't take a single hit throughout that entire boss fight. Thank you guys so much. Okay, hang on. Now I need to scroll because I actually like missed some uh, some messages. See that board? It's where you gotta hit to get out early after he jumps in the middle. Oh shit. 
I see. Don't put this into the world. Uh, hello, Emmy. I'm so glad you were able to stop by. Don't I look like the cutest motherfucker in the planet? Inspect. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Wait, get get back here. Get back here! Oh, you motherfucker. Motherfucker. Damn it! I missed him. I was I was so intrigued with picking up goodies. Picking up goodies. Uh, anyways. I did take a single hit of damage. That's because I'm a god and I'm just built different. Thank you all very much. And I have all this money. Money, money, money. And I, it's too bad I can't climb up there yet, but that's okay. Oh, my new model is so cute. And I did such a good job. I, not that I made it or anything, but I did a good job putting everything together. I'm such a, I'm such a big kid. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. We killed the boss. That's, Suiko, that's because you're built different. You and your friends said not fucking today, Terraria boss. And then you made him, you made him poop his pants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he should be ashamed of himself. I was, um, watching Stubie play Hollow Knight a while ago. And, like, they were really, honestly, they're a lot better than I feel like I was at first. But they really struggled at this part. Which to me was very funny. Um, because I was like, can I give you a hint or would you? The giant mech worm can apparently shit itself. Yeah, with oil. What do you think oil is? It's mech worm pee pee. I'm gonna scream, I can't do this anymore. Anyone can, Suiko. If you believe in God, anyone can piss their pants. And especially if you don't believe in God. But I asked Subi, I was like, can I, can I give you a hint? And they went, no, I really don't want a hint right now. And I just try, kept trying to tell them that if they just, like, used their spell once or twice on this guy, he would die. But Subi was, like, making it so much harder for themselves. I felt really bad. Ow. Oh, okay, roly-polies. I love roly-polies. Bug back seeing shake my... I asked before I did it, okay? So I... Ex so take my name out of your mouth. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Ah! I want to know what the kid who was saying, wait, was going to say. It's a shame that Vine was only six seconds because I wanted to see, hear what that kid had to say. Exactly. And Suvi's very much so a stubborn... I, I, don't, I hope this doesn't come across as mean because they've told me this before themselves. They have a little bit of a complex with people like helping them because when they were a younger sibling... Their older siblings would be like, why do you do things this way? Why do you do things this way? So even though they know I was not trying to be a jerk, their first instinctual, like, gut reaction was, leave me alone. So that is very much so why they don't necessarily always like backseating, which is why I try to be very careful and ask, okay, would you like a hint or do you just want to, like, suffer through this? A lot of times the answer is, I want to suffer through this. Uh, but every once in a while, they want a little hint. I'm based off an Atlas Beetle. Um, although, truthfully, Hina actually brought this up the other day. That actually, like, if you look at a stinky one... Jonathan, didn't we just talk about how valuable dung beetles are to society? Didn't we just talk about how valuable be dung beetles are to society? Uh, but Hina recently brought up that I also, like, very closely rem resemble a yellow longhorn with... Um with like the the waist and everything which i thought was so fun i know mads did a lot of research into beetles so i am kind of curious um to hear like what beetles besides the atlas beetle were like the big draws for him your instinct is to do things how you want and make it work your roomie and moon have been giving you shit for Baldur's gate three because you keep running the same encounter yeah, you know, but sometimes you just have to do that i know the definition of insanity is doing things I fucking hate spikes. No one talked to me. <laughs> is, is like, definition of insane is like, keep trying things and expecting a different outcome. But in something like video games, you can expect a different outcome. So it is fun to tease people for it. But I also, I understand the whole, like, there's an easier way to do it if you do this and not wanting to do that. The yellow longhorn. Yes, which looking at it, I was like, oh, that, yeah, I see it. It makes perfect sense. Oh, Mr. Beansy. Oh, Mr. Beansy. Well, I don't need you right now. Let me beat you up. That's right, idiot. Get blasted. <laughs> Ryuga, hey, howdy, hey! What do you think of the new form? 
For you, sometimes you'll do it the same way multiple times because it's easier to understand what you're doing wrong if you do it yourself. I agree. Like, sometimes I really need to lose to the same boss before I go, oh, that's how he's hitting me. I he So I 100% hear you. Just to get further in a run you're struggling with. Arc Knights. Get fucked. Oh, I should, hang on. I'm gonna heal. Pow, pow. I saw a study that says if you fail over and over again, your short-term memory isn't storing the info you've learned from failing. So if you take a break, you'll process that info, then be able to perform better after a break. You know, that also makes perfect sense because there are times when you get really pissed off by a video game and you go, I need a I need 15 minutes. I've done this. I've done this a lot, especially for, th for this game in Elden Ring, where if I take a break, then come back to it the next day, I'm like, oh. Oh, I, I'm, like, doing better now, because... Ow. But yeah, I just tried, kept trying to tell Subi, I was like, listen, this guy isn't strong if you just take, like, a few spell hits, go for it. But instead, they were trying to do it, like, a different way of healing themselves and then getting frustrated. And they ended up figuring it out. But I did, I did kind of laugh because I was like, I just wanted to tell you that all you had to do was hit him one more time. Then the next day, get it with one or two tries. You know, it's interesting how that works even for such a physical activity like DDR. Where it's like sometimes your feet just need the... Your feet and your brain just go, I, I need a little bit longer. I find that very fascinating. Oh. I, yes. I'm gonna beat you to death. You're mean. <laughs> but no, that's also, that's super interesting. I bet, obviously, with what you're telling me and the study, I'm sure that it makes sense for sports, too. Where it's like, you can only practice so much before you, before you get frustrated, and then you come back the next day, and it turns out you're fine. No, Ryuga, you're doing great. What are you eating? Can I have some? Hey, can I have some? I'm feeling kind of peckish. Can I have some? Give me some. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Give me some of that food. Yes, I, I did purchase this. Thank you, sir. What to do? Give me some of that. Give me some of that. We're having breakfast for dinner tonight. <gasps> Luca! Welcome in! You've been part of the Beetle Grow for two months. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. French fries, chicken nuggets, and cheesy garlic. The breakfast, the meal of champions. Breaks are more than just letting yourself rest. It's good for your practice and learning. I mean, also, that's what I would tell my friends going through college all the time, too. Like, it, they've proven it does more good to go to sleep, even though you haven't studied, rather than stay up and cram. Spent hours debugging code. Later in the day after a long break, the light bulbs go in your head. So true. And look, Luca, you have the cute little, um, larva, larva, uh, badge now. Isn't that sweet? Oh, I love my new badges. They're so cute. Whoop. Speaking of which, all the links for all my new stuff and who made them is down in my assets under assets, 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 <laughs> um, in my assets under Twitch. If it's not listed, it means I made it myself, such as like my overlays. The boss you walked in on you killing yesterday, you managed to kill him. You also got killed by a raid during one of your final attempts. And my favorite part was when you were like, you were like, yeah, I just need to be shirtless. I feel too encumbered with, with my shirt on. And I was like, you are so, I was like, speak your fucking truth. You are so right. I don't know. Something about that really spoke to me. Women, ass its, it's its, ass, ass its, preach. Lem, whatever sermon you're preaching, I want to be a part of. All right, Ryuga, I will hydrate. With lightning bug hugs. I know it's really cheesy, but it makes me really happy, so. Too bad. I hear a grub. I hear a grub. Oh, I missed my spell. That's embarrassing. I don't want to talk about that. Y'all didn't see that. You're free, baby. You're free. 
I love, I do remember how my first playthrough, I never revisited the Grubhub. And so when I finally rescued so many and then went back, I got an insane amount of stuff. They just showered me with money and gifts and I was so grateful. It was the happiest day of my life. It was the happiest day of my life. Gotcha. Remnant lets you fulfill your goal of being topless and you like that. So true. You made the fun. I remember being like, ah ha ha ha, I'm so happy. It was so good. This game is really, um, really special to me. I don't know if it still is. I've done a huge culling of clips from my channel where I've only tried to, ow, try to keep the ones that have like a certain amount of views up just so it's not crazy cluttered. So I actually don't remember. So in love with the points being lightning bug hugs. You got the reference, thank you so much. Not that I feel like the, the reference was like hard to get, but that's absolutely what I was referencing. Because you guys are my love bugs. When you subscribe, you're a love bug. So you should, you have to redeem lightning bug hugs for me to give you anything. You think I'm worth a second for me to even glance at you. I love Owl City. Suvi recently found, not, I guess it wasn't that recent, found a group that's a lot like Owl City and I cannot remember the name of them right now. But when I do, I'll have to send it to you, Lam, because they're just like a slightly more adult Owl City. And they deal with slightly heavier topics than I think um, Adam, I can't remember the, the guy who does at Owl City, Adam something does. And it's just really nice. It's it's very nostalgic. Ah, it's not there anymore. Yeah, I also think that might have been on um, my old laptop before it died. Because I played this game last August and my my computer died November. So, I don't remember. I think I might have just deleted them, but I cannot remember. So, I do, I do think it did not survive uh, the transfer of computers either. Yeah. Last winter was rough. Last winter was rough for me. I got hit with some bad luck right in a row. But, we're good. But now I have Wilhelm here, and he takes good care of me. Wilhelm's a good man. Wilhelm the 32nd is a good, good man. He's a good man, Savannah. A good man. All right. Now, was that not? I thought that was a breakable wall, too. Oops. Oops, a daisy. I haven't fought Big Mama yet. Oh. Hey, guys, I found Big Mama. Big Mama's gone. Do you guys remember how hard I fought that boss the first? And by you guys, I think only Jonathan would remember. And maybe Lilith? But I remember how hard that boss was for the first time. And instead, now I just nail bounced her and I was good. Get over here. And now I just beat her like that. Oh my god. I am psychic, Luca. I'm so psychic. Wait, no, I have to go rescue, um, oh, what's the shopkeeper's name? I can't remember. I have to go rescue him. He's over this way, I think. Pretty sure he's under here. Bug getting better at video games could not be me. There are a bunch of bosses you absolutely demolished the second time around. That makes me feel better because here I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of easy. <laughs> Oh. Hi, bud. It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Lem, I'm so glad you asked. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Oh, I was going to say the wings, but it's the thighs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this not the cutest thing? We're all very excited about the thighs. 
Exactly, because men of taste like thighs. But boobs are butt, boobs are butt. Neither, you heathens. The chitin on the legs, right? I actually didn't ask Mads for that, but Mads introduced it. I was like, hey, I was thinking this would be really cute. And I said, holy shit, take my money. I said, Mads, do you want to bear my children? I know. I'm so happy with this new model. I'm also, of course, I do like to mention that even though I do have a new model, I'm very still grateful for my first model. The people who worked on my first model did an incredible job, and I'm very, very grateful. And I think my first model was fabulous, and I don't think this is an upgrade so much as this is just a different model for me. And I'm very grateful for it. We are truly cultured, Giga Chad. Giga Chad! But yes, I do find it very important that the people who did my first model we're also beyond talented, beyond words. I love my first model very much. This is just who I am and who I've changed. Nothing prepares you for Hall Night Boss more than God Home if you want to practice. Oh, so true. So fucking true, Lilith. I, on my first save file, I'm still trying to get through God's Home. And I do feel like that's probably why, I've, why I have not been struggling as much. Because that humbles you real fast. My bat model treated me so well. And I'm so grateful for that one too. But of course I'm always grateful for, for this one. Haha. <laughs> Cause now I'm bug. Now I'm just bug. Have you beaten the I have, Ryuka. I fucking hated it. That was, I have to say, that was actually probably the least fun I've had playing Hollow Knight. Not to be a whiny bitch or anything, but I actually didn't, I actually act hated pain of path path of pain Ugh. I do you guys remember um Jonathan how far I got thank you for following Anuki welcome to the Beetle Grove enjoy your time um I hate radiant the radiant ver versions where you can't take any how it can't take any damage I've only ever done like two bosses on it um Oh, really? Path of Pain was bad for me. Ow. Um, because I got really far into it, and then I accidentally closed my browser, and I didn't save, so all my progress got lost, and I had to be like, I'm ending stream tonight. I cannot fucking do this. Oh, God. I love the way both models look, and the small version of this one, right? I... I felt so dumb. I was like, how could I do this to myself? I That was awful. I'm interested to go back and do it again, though, because I feel like it's not as bad the second time around. But, um, yeah. I do remember Jonathan going, did you really just close it? And I went, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> it's not funny, but at that moment, I was, I said, I was too, I was too stunned to even react. I just went, mm-hmm, I did it. Mm-hmm. Agony. Literal agony. If you want, doesn't the Path of Pain have like a second harder version? That would have been an uninstall moment for me if I did it. That's why I had to end stream. I was like, I'm gonna become a worse person if I keep going. It has shortcuts in the walls throughout the entire thing. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? I could do the shortcuts. I mean, I'm glad I didn't do the shortcuts, but... I could have done the shortcuts this entire time. Oh my god. Great. I unlocked that one. Half the page just takes every platformer trick you've ever been taught and forces you to nearly master it. Oh, that's right. I need the uh, lightning bug for that part. Yeah, it was bonkers. And I was so full of hate. It was unreal. Max percent. They use those and the grub charm to skip most of it. That's smart. I might be interested in learning those shortcuts for my second run through, but as much as I was frustrated, I was kind of, the the pride you feel when you finish it, like nobody could have told me I wasn't the shit because at that moment I was the shit. It is a long game. I have 60 hours on it total and I still technically have not beaten it. I've never beaten the Hollow Knight. Um, Uh, because I didn't want the game to end, and I'm and I was like, no, I want to do God's Home first. So I'm just like crazy. 
you like I like challenging things too. But sometimes I hate challenging things. There's one where you have to go right and up and around, but you can just go straight up by bouncing on enemies and spikes to skip the whole area. Damn. I feel like shortcuts are always good to know. Because then whenever you have the choice to do that shortcuts or the real one. Technically, Gone Home is a way to end the game, so... Alright. I, um, in my first playthrough, I accidentally sent away the circus. And I was really mad about it. Because the guy spoke to me and was like, I know a way to end this. And I went, oh, this is how you win. And then I did it, and Lilith went, you, you actually, like, ended it. And I was like, what do you mean? I thought that's what I was supposed to do. It was the funniest fucking thing ever. I was like, well, I guess I have to do it in another playthrough because I fucking killed him. Rip. Rip. I fucking ended his life, you. Huh. But yeah, lots of fond memories of this game, so I'm excited to go through it again, but... Grim fucking died! So sad. Luca, it was the most embarrassing moment of my life. Because if oh, I had thought about I it for more than two that. seconds, I would have been like, oh wait, this actually might end it? But in my head, I was like, I'm getting a one-up on Grim. Like, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. This is the natural progression of the storyline. And it wasn't. It, it just fucking killed me. Yeah, I need the quill. Um, yes, I definitely want the bench. Some of these I can just ignore for right now. I want the Stagway one. When I have more money, I'll go back and full- BNC, you are- Sitting on your brother meringue. Can you stop? Bless you. And I'll do this one. And then I'll go see what Sly has. Bless you. This, the Hollow Knight games was also, um, that's Beansy sneezing. Oh my god, why do you want me to drink water? I hate you guys. Sounds like he's hitting something. Beansy has, um, his viral herpes is, is a little more intense than some of my other cats I've ever owned. Meringue is the teethless boy, yes! And he is so fucking cute, Lon. I can't wait for you to meet him. Ah, refreshing water. Get sw you want to swaddle me? Jeez, you wanna swaddle me? You wanna swaddle me so bad. You wanna swaddle me so bad. It makes you look silly. You want to swaddle me? Oh, you want me to be swaddled? Oh. You want me to be swaddled? Don't worry. I'm still dangerous in this form. I'm just, in fact, I'm more dangerous in this form. He's one of the prettiest cats in the world. You're a dummy. I forgot you already had that. Why isn't tits working? It's still not working. Beansy has the cutest cat sneeze you've heard. Luca? I, I'm going to try to get Meringue to street, to, um... To, to sneeze on stream because he sneezes and it sounds like a squeaky toy. It is so cute. Ooh, what's this? Yes. To stream. I do want Meringue to stream. I think he'd be a really successful streamer. He's a little dumb. He's an old soul. If you look at him, he, um, he just looks like a disgruntled old man all the time. It's really cute. Meringue kitty stream now. Luca, as soon as, if I can get it to happen, I'll point it out. But it is, if you think Beansy's sneeze is cute, Meringue's is fucking hilarious. I love your cozy little store, Sly. Yes, I want this mask shard. Absolutely, I do. Is that even a fucking question? Of course I do. Of course I do. But yeah, and my gremlin mode is also, my gremlin model is also a, um, is also a redeem. But yeah, I'll stay swaddled for a couple minutes. Then I'll hop over to my main model because I'm, I was so excited to use it. It's a bop bing bop boom. I wanna get a redeem that's also text to speech because I feel like those are always fun. Um, but yeah. Map updated, perfect. I think now we go to green path. Isn't it so cute? 
No, you're fine, Jonathan. I'm glad you're playing around with the redeems. And also, I'm sorry, Joker, that the the, the throwing still isn't working. I'll I'll see if maybe I can troubleshoot it because it's it's up and it says my Twitch is connected. So I will be honest, I'm not entirely certain what the problem is, but it'll be something for me to discover off stream rather than during stream. <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow it'll be back to working again. Oh! I love Green Path because that's where you first meet Hornet and Hornet is perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate it. It wouldn't be bug if there wasn't a little bit of scuff occurring every once in a while, you know? Small should have an emote whenever new slots open. <gasps> You're so right! Hornet and Ghost. Girl dinner! Girl dinner! Girl dinner! I love girl dinner. My girl dinner is Hornet. And probably Melina from Mortal Kombat. What does goblin mode do? It switches to gom my goblin, gremlin. My, my gremlin model, I promise I can speak. I'm so good at, I'm so good at public speech, guys, I promise. Promi. I fucking hate McDonald's Sprite, guys. Where are the Venus fly traps that try to jump scare me every single time? And it usually works. And it usually works. Get swaddled. But yeah, I need a bummer emote and I should also get a cozy emote. That's such a good idea. Hi birdies. I'm gonna kill the shrubs. Get him. Gremlin model is great, and when it holds the boba cup, it's top notch. It just, it's unfortunately very me. Whoop! Oh, shoot. You don't think you've ever fallen for the Venus slide traps? Well, I don't, well, good for you! Do you want a reward? <laughs> Jonathan, I bet Jonathan remembers, and Joker, you also might remember. Do you remember the 13 year old who came onto my stream and told me I sucked? But he didn't do it meanly. But he didn't do it meanly. He was like, oh. It's like, oh, this boss isn't hard. If you struggle with this, you're gonna have a really hard time later on. I was like, what the fuck? Look at this fucking guy who never falls into the traps, shaking my fucking head. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, I'm 13. So we waited for him to leave the chat and then we had to ban him. Cause so I was like, I'm so sorry. I can't have a kid in the stream. That's, I, I don't censor myself enough. <laughs> Lilith, I'm so fucking glad. It was so surreal. I think about him and I hope he's doing well. Um, Lem, I'm a brown sugar bitch, and br and honeydew as well. But brown sugar and black sugar is is my go-to. Oh. Fuck them kids. That's what I'm like, but I do it in a nice way because I genuinely love children and I do babysit. But um, stream time is just I don't know. I never want to corrupt the minds of youth. Genuinely. He can come back in five years, maybe. Exactly! He can appeal to be unbanned, and his reason can be, I'm 18 now. <laughs> and we'll let him in. You're a basic tarot boba enjo enjoyer. I do like tarot. I do like tarot, I will say, but... For me, it's not something I can drink a large size of. Like, if I get a small tarot, that's perfect. But I can't do, like, a large tarot. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the classics. Like, those basic things, quote unquote. You don't think milk tea is for you? That's fair. Uh, but basic things, quote unquote, are basic and popular for a reason. Beetle's not a horn stream. I just don't want to interact with someone half my age. Literally. Um, no, that's that's fair, Lem. Strawberry lemonade with mango popping bubbles. Oh, that's good, though! Um... My younger brother, who now is going by Rue online, Rue online, um, just so you know who I'm talking about, Lem, does the same thing. He's not a milk tea person, but he enjoys the smoothies or the other drinks with like the fruit jellies and the popping boba and whatnot. Only off stream. On stream, I'm a whore. Huh. I'm a little whore. I'm daddy's favorite little whore. I'm not saying that ever again. <laughs> I probably will. Who am I kidding? I absolutely will. Cool. 
Rue spelled like this? I don't know. I spelled it R-O-O -O before, and so has he, but I don't know if he ever, like, settled on an actual spelling, so it could... Hold it! There she is, my wife! You'll say it for gummy bears? Okay. Say it. 50th time you said something sus like that and said, I'm never saying that again. See, I just changed the variation on it, so I'm not wrong. I'm So I'm not a liar. I'm just not a truther. Things that make you go, hmm. Okay, well, Moon needs to grow up. If Moon didn't want you to be a whore, then then why why date whore? Hmm? 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 Make it make sense. Exactly. You're in the right here, Lilith. Real. Real. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. I do love money rocks. They make me happy inside. Doink, doink, doink. Oh, that's right, I don't have a map yet for this area. I'll say it with feeling for spicy snacks. What's your favorite spicy snack? I'm not much of a, of a spicy snack person. Um, like, I do like the Cheetos, like the hot Cheetos, but I don't consider those truly that spicy either. Like, they're, they're more than usual, but anything that hurts you for hours. Oh, so like my last relationship. Ha 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 ha. You you are a little bit of a masochist, sweetie, but that that's okay, I think. Maybe. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. Ghost pepper popcorn. See, ghost pepper stuff. Mm mm. I do like spice, but if it only hurt you for a few hours, you got off lucky, bug. I I did. It was a relationship that lasted for one month. So step on you, I mean what? I understand completely. Here he is. Ah! You would destroy ghost pepper popcorn? Sexually or? <laughs> <sighs> oh, jeez. All right, hi, bud. I'm gonna get a map and then I'm gonna switch back to my main model. Cause that's what we're showing off today, guys. That's what we're showing off. Yes. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, I would destroy it sexually. My man's not a fucking liar, and he's not a coward either. And I respect that. I like those hot fries they sold to us in middle school. And sh I, yes, yes, yes! I know exactly what you're talking about, Lem. Because I liked the, um... I think they were the cheesy ones. But I can see the blue bag, and I can see the little guy on the logo in my head. One of your other partners can always tell what you're playing because you hum this guy's song while wandering around. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, uh, uh. You are so. Oh. He just got with the nostalgia bomb. Literally! You got me! Those are the same ones that at the gas station then agreed. They are. Like, when they hit right, they hit right. We fuck severely with them. You can't remember the name, but it was a good spice level. Andy Caps. Is that what they were? I believe you. They were a good spice level. Like, I enjoy a, a spicy food, but I'm not the person who likes it so spicy it hurts. I just like flavor. So, my spice tolerance used to be really good, but unfortunately I've lost a lot of it. Love the map lab, right? Always tempted to get them when you're at work. My issue is I remember them being so good as a kid that when I've gotten them since, I'm like, well, they're fine. You know, because in my head I've built it up so much. Have we all done Steel Soul? I'm not familiar with that, so I have to say, I don't think so. Me, fun run. They're true junk food. They are. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with junk food in moderation. Balance is the key. Steel Soul is one life. Oh, fuck. Absolutely not. I would never, I would never succeed. Are you crazy? The answer is yes. I'm glad for you, though. Uh. Steel Soul is the permadeath run for this game. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Nope. Listen, buddy. I can barely make it through with the lives I do have. That's all I can say. Mm. 
if you get into a bad situation. I'm on my 131st steel run, literally. Literally, love, literally. Quit out if you get into a bad situation. Okay, I mean, that's a very good point. Is that the same thing for, um, is that the same technique they use in like the Pokemon Nuz Nuzlocke? Um, things like if you if you get to be in a really bad situation, you just quit out and restart. How the fuck am I gonna do it in one? L Hina, that's literally me. I'm path I'm a pathetic meow meow. No oh, dude, I got hooked onto those nerd clusters by a coworker um sometime last year. They fuck. Kind of, except you wake up at the last bench instead. So true. Absolute Lem, I fuck with those so hard, it's unreal. Lilith, I have to say, I'm not the biggest, like, nerds fan, but those nerds gummy clusters unlock something in you. I highly, if you guys get the chance to recommend, to get the chance to try it, I highly recommend it. They're really good. I really like them. It's like the best of both worlds. They have to lace up. They are laced with crap. You like Papas Locas? I don't know if I'm familiar with Papas Locas. Friend has to farm unicorns. Welcome back, Suiko. Yes, the texture is perfect. But in Pokemon Nuzlocks aren't done like that. Nuzlocks are just played as is since Pokemon is inherently really easy because, you know, it's a baby game. That's fair. I respect that. Hi, Hunter. Any percent, because I can use it to transport back to the first nail and save time. So true. Let's put up Once Subi met the hunter in their playthrough, they went, no, I have to fight everything really good because they felt like every time they had the hunter icon, it was like getting a sticker. And they were like, I want to make him proud of me. <laughs> if one Pokemon dies, you still can have more and can catch more periodically. I hear that, but my fear is like, what about the ones you can't do that for? Like my starter Pokemon. Think freshly sliced potatoes that are fried, then use hot sauce, soy sauce, lime juice, shake up, and eat. Oh, that sounds really good. That's Suvi's dad now, literally. Yes, I did. Th it did scare me the first time around because I thought he was the boss I had to fight. And I was like, this guy looks scary. I don't want to fight him. Your favorite gas station food is Reese's chocolate bars. Those are also good. Then don't let them die, dumb head ass. So fucking true. Get attached to them since they can't come back. It's just like with people. I get attached to people and then they die on me. Bummer. <gasps> That's really sad. I shouldn't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. Sorry, I guess I shouldn't joke about my dead best friend every once in a while. Makes you want a ranch. So true. Food, I'm hungry. Right, we're all talking about food. I'm getting a little hungry now. Come free, grub. Come free, come be free, my little grubby. My little grubby boo. What? Oh, fuck me. Oh, I missed! Oh my god, I'm embarrassing myself on the internet! How, how embarrassing. Whoops. 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 Ow, fuck me. You watch this one streamer do Pokemon runs on YouTube, where he makes it normally impossible, but he cheeses so much to make it work. I'm proud of him. Like, one where you can't level up any Pokemon at all. <gasps> then how do you- Okay. He's like, these games aren't challenging. Time to be my own worst enemy. He's also named- What bug? What bug is he named after? Oh, that pleases me. <gasps> Might have eaten a little bit too much. That's fair. Go poop it out and you'll be fine, sweetie. Is it small ant? Small ants! Hornet, I love you. We're all familiar with this guy, huh? Well, not me. Not me. I don't know this guy. I found a Hollow Knight run where it's, um... Oh, shoot. It's Hollow Knight, but every time I, I lose a Wordle, I have to die or something like that. I love it. Be safe, Luca! The hardest thing you've done in Pokemon is Shiny Hunt, a Sunkern, and the Overworld in Violet. I don't know what those words mean. I'm sorry. Griffin McElroy's because it's the only one ever, I think. 
I love watching the McElroy, Griffin McElroy, like, fail at things. I hope that's okay for me to say. Shows off a lot of tricks and strats. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. I'm stupid. Because <laughs> I'm stupid. Woo! Took you 20 hours to get it. Oh my god. Was it worth it? If it was worth it, I'm so happy for you. If it wasn't, I'm sorry that happened. There we go. No, LMA. <laughs> and Peacecraft, where he just plays WoW without killing anything. I loved Peacecraft. Because I had such a background in World of Warcraft that, for me, it was, it was just extra, like... I know, I feel like it's always more fun when you watch someone play a game that you've played before. I feel like it makes the connection a little, a little deeper. Because if I had gone into it not knowing World of Warcraft, I don't know if I would have found it funny. Ow. You stupid- you see me to tell me those Venus flytraps don't jump scare you, like, ever? Suiko! We're starting to streak now! You into Beetle Grove with that little beetle gif? Cracked me the fuck up watching that. He kept accidentally finding speedrun strats. I guess when you're a speedrunner, it just, like, just comes to you. Like, God is speaking to you, right? But yes, we go start that streak. Because right now, you're a little, um... You're a pupa. You're, no, you're a larva. So you gotta level up. I do... The beetle gif is very cute. Everything else is the dancing cockroach. Actually, that's not true. My raid notification is, um, get stick bugged. Because <laughs> I love stick bugs, too. You always notice the little teeth. I'm not that observant. So it's, it's really not difficult to, um, to get one over on me, so to speak. I'm, I'm very easily fooled. When you were playing Moon Scars and Moon Watch, she kept getting exasperated because I kept finding new strats. That's just because you're a gamer. Get stick bugged. You can never get mad about getting stick bugged. Like, you can get mad about getting rickrolled or whatever, but not the stick bug. I, the stick bug is built different. Pop, pop. Stick bug me any day over rickroll. Agreed. But I guess they were just different times back then but see Lil, that's just because you're a real gamer and real gamers just just know how to find the strats you know what i mean how do i hmm oh shit it is challenging to get people with it now so it is pretty funny when you do it i don't disagree with that ow i hate sprite Fucking McDonald's Sprite. Fucking McDonald's Sprite. Alrighty, so I need to figure out a way to get some places. Oh, silence, wench. Bitch. Bitch. Now what? That's what I thought. Rick Astley was doing a Reddit AMA and someone got him with it? No fucking way. Dude, that's his own- Whore. Alright, so I think I got a... Doink! Excusez-moi! Woo! I do, I gotta go fight Hornet. She gives me good stuff, and also that's my mom. You are my mom! That's my mommy! Boogie woogie woogie! Also, swing back around to that, do you hope any cameos appear? I would never be opposed to a Quirrell cameo. It's because I really like her, though. So. Commenter was like, Rick, you probably don't remember me, but my dad and I met you at a concert back in 1980-something. Here's a photo. Get his ass! I Fucking, see? I can never notice the teeth. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb and I don't have a brain, and it's really hard being me. I'm dumb and it's so easy to get one over on me. That is fucking wild. 
If I was Rick Astley, I was like, wow, I'd be like, wow, I can like never show myself again. I can never show my face in public ever again. Charge up. There we go. I think he just replied with a clapping gif. Valid. You got to, you have to take it gracefully. Ow. Get fucked. Don't ever touch me again. You wretched beast. Damn. You got me there. Hornet, wait, come back. I love you, please. Where do you find a lot of the artists for your character art? Skeb. Skeb, it's the Jap- Skeb is that Japanese commissioning website where you- It's a little bit different than commissioning any other artist. Um, because what you do is you send in a request for what they do. And then you have no communication with them whatsoever. They have a deadline and they deliver the art. There's no process of like drafts. What you get is what you get. Which is why a lot of the artists end up being like a little bit more like affordable than if you were to truly commission to commission an artist to make something to your exact tastes. But if at any point you're you're interested in like learning how to do it, hit me up because it's very easy use. But the bad news is it's very addicting because you go, oh shit, I can just get art like really easily. It's a very dangerous game. Very dangerous game. But yeah, now uh, VGen, the web, the new web, the website, also kind of offers like skeb like commissions so if you ever see the term skeb commission that's what it's referring to i love art too because of bug my twitter arts is full of skeb artists they're so talented i love art i love commissioning art um but yeah so like even some western artists are like you can send in a skeb style art which is you send in a request in your references and then what you get is what you get so i do think it's a really cool and i think for a lot of artists some of the pressure is taken off too because that way you know people only commission you because they like your art style and you're kind of free to do whatever you want um that being said though some artists like a little bit more direction and other people don't so normally how i tend to do my skeb artists is i send and i was like hey i'd like something where the person where it looks really happy and maybe i'm um maybe my character can be like like interacting with this. And then sometimes they're so like, oh yeah, I'll do that. Or sometimes they're like, mm, I'm just gonna still do my own thing with with what you give me. Um, ooh, Lem, I don't think you were here for it, but I'm gonna show off my starting soon screen. This was a scab artist who did this animation. You might one day commission someone to make your OC. It's, oh, the joy you get in getting art back of your characters is so good. But yeah, I sent in this scab art and I said, Hey, this is a beetle girl. My character's a beetle girl. Maybe she could be like looking out a window on a train or something. And this is what they came back with. Isn't that so fucking cool? I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Oh shoot, I forgot to change to my cute new stinger. See, I got a, I got a heart stinger. Oops, I forgot about that. My bad, my bad. I was like, wow, I have everything set up. I didn't have everything set up. It has the perfect comfy vibe, which is what I wanted to give for my my stream starting. Ugh. But yeah, Skev is very cool, very addicting. But that's where I get a lot of my character art. That and of course, like, my friends too. Isn't it? Thank you, Ryuga. The artist who worked on it, phenomenal. But if you were interested in looking at their Skev link, I do have it down below. I have all my artists credited in my Twitch panels. I think. If you guys notice I'm missing one, please, please let me know. I think I got them all, but you can't get me three times with the same trick. You can get me twice with it, but not three times. My foot is falling asleep. Aw, Meringue, you're so sleepy. And BNC, you, you want food, don't you? You nasty little man. Nasty little man. Um, let's see here. Aha, I see you guys. Get fucked. Your possum pick was from Scab, right? Yes, it was! It was from someone who I've scabbed multiple times. And they're like, they're really fucking nice. 
They saw I sent in another request and they went, oh, I love it when people come back for things. Get me once, shame on you. Get me twice, shame on me. Get me thrice. Nuh-uh. You low-key have to befriend artists to regularly commission them. It's a lot easier for me to justify spending money I don't have. That's fair. I hear that. When the budget gets tight, you gotta, you gotta do what you can. I'm gonna get you. Ooh, I'm gonna get you. Did I come this way already? I don't remember. I'm very quickly losing track of my life. I wanna say yes. Get fucked. But I hear that. It is always easier to like commission someone you have a relationship with. Cause then you're like, oh, well now I'm just like giving money to my friend. Ooh, Joker. Entire Twitter feed is artists is what you use the platform for. You're using it the correct way. That's the right way to use it. Ooh, okay, well, I can't wait to see it. You'll have to show it off when you get it. Cause I fucking love art, man. I hear you, Grub, I'm on my way, don't worry. Don't worry. Bada bing, bada boom. I can't believe I've gotten so much better at this video game. It's incredible. Your dream right now is calming your meta Ivy and getting her to calm your Final Fantasy OC, but she's got a really high pricing, so you haven't been able to afford it. I hear that. Skep has some really good Final Fantasy artists too, so once my friends and I start our, our playthrough again, I really want to get all of us commissioned. It's a much better way than the standard Twitter experience, right? Where it's just people getting mad. People getting mad. Am I going the right way? I've completely lost track of what I'm doing here. I need to find Hornet, my mommy. Mommy, mommy, hornet, mommy, mommy, mommy. I'm scared. There she is. Okay, I'm going the right way. Come to Midgard on Ether. It'd be fun to see you guys. <gasps> your new PNG is just gonna be you as a blue mage? I do remember you telling me that's your favorite class to play because you're fucking de deranged and insane. Because you're fucking crazy. I, sh I should. Because we're, um... Have fun, Lem, eat well. Cause it, the plan is Andel, Suvi, Mary and I are going to start a Final Fantasy playthrough together. Um, and we haven't really decided where we're gonna go. Like Andel likes Crystal, that's where their bias is. My, my main characters are on Crystal, but I straight up was like, I don't really care where we go. I'm chill with it. You do love pain, you silly masochist. Oh, fu oh fuck me. Oh my gosh, my talent knows no bounds. My talents know no bounds. I'm so special. Whoa. Yeah, sure, I'll insert some Geo. Crystal is fun, but ever since DC Travel came out, everyone is on Ether, so. Cool. Why is everyone on Ether? Fun! I mean, that's not my job, but. Sculpted your future legs while listening to this whore. Been a vibe. Your future legs. I hope they're so thick and fucking juicy. Doesn't matter one way or another. You can always DC travel and come bug, y'all. <laughs> Thank God, Hina. There's the rating server. Gotcha. That makes sense, because Crystal's the RP server. Which explains, like, why I've been on it. Oh. Oh. Weh. Weh. Ooh, big stretch, Meringue. Big stretch. From Little Man. Whoop! Ah! Oh, God. Okay. Doink, doink, doink. Ah! Got him. Ether's RP community is really small. To be fair, there there's an RP community on and every DC, but Crystal was just kind of dubbed the yeah. dubbed like the unofficial one because like Mateus has a huge RP scene, um, Balmong has a decent RP scene as well. There's just there's a lot, a lot of RP there. 
Definitely. I would 100% agree with that. Ooh. Nice. Wait, get back here. Get back here. Thank you. I need your blue goo. Either you think it's all concentrated into Siren and Sargantanus. I didn't know Siren was it. I didn't know, re recognize the other one. So, obviously, I believe you. You hang out there more than I do. All right. Cool. We got that cooking. To the left should be Hornet, and over here should be one of the knights. Yeah. Got him. Damn, I am getting good at this game. Who am I? My God, besides the sexiest motherfucker alive. <laughs> ha ha! It's funny though, yes, I got a reputation on Midgar as the foot girl. Is that funny? <laughs> Obsessed with you. Thank you, Jonathan. I feel like I've gotten better. Like, that's, that's weird. It's weird being successful. <laughs> that sounds sad. That is not what I mean. That came out much sadder than intended. Like, look at me. I'm just gone so much better at this video game. These skills will help me later on in life, I'm sure. All right, let's go to Hornet, though. Because Mommy is waiting for me, and I love her very much. It's not your reputation of bugs chat. Yep. Congrats, Lilith. You're the you're the foot girl now. At work, I am known as like the cat foot person because I do love polydactyl cats. Add it to mod comments now. How they trap the feet of one of the bosses, and it just kind of spread across the whole server to the point. One of your mutuals quotes that in the same alliance raid and didn't know it was me. That is literally sickening. Oh wait, no, I was going the right way. Oh, I'm so confused. I hear you, Grubby. Congrats, now now all a bug Discord knows Lilith is the foot girl. Gosh, you gotta go up to go down. I, it's funny, I do forget like which order to do things sometimes. My brain is very little. It can only retain so much information. And a lot of it is just tokusatsu up in here. Knocks on my empty head. That's what she said. I hope not. Oh, that's alarming. I hope not. Boink. 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 Get knocked down so I get back up again. That's right. Just like feet. Just like feet. Gotta put your foot down to pick it back up again. <laughs> All right. That's enough! That's enough! <laughs> so true foot girl. I'm throwing up. I'm gonna throw up. All right. All right. Let her get up. Let her get up! We just keep knocking her down. Let her get up. <laughs> Give her a minute, give her a minute. She got this. <laughs> oh man, obsessed. I don't care. Bring out your babies, I'll fight all of them. I'll fight all your babies. I ain't afraid. Oh man, there we go. Oh damn. It's just like Jujutsu Kaisen all over again? What's Jujutsu Kaisen? Wait, what does that have to do with feet? I know what Jujutsu Kaisen is. Got him. Hey, wake up. Of course, I have the option not to save Zorg, Zord, whatever his name is, but he's funny. So I like him. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Zo, sorry, not Zorg. I think Zorg is the guy from Buzz Lightyear. Emperor Zorg. 
Yeah. Close enough. That's the same difference, right? Does the same thing? I'm sure of it. Damn you. That one video of Itadori and Nanami beating up the spirit and it just going, let him up, let him up. Okay. I was not familiar with that specifically, but that's very good. Hi, Beansy. Beansy's trying so hard to like get me to go get his kibble. He's really trying. It's like that scene in JoJo's uh, part five where they're all beating up the guy and then Abaccio joins in too. He just like finish drink finishes drinking his tea and then like gets up as well. Ow. Poor Beansy has never eaten in his life. Untrue, he got one kibble earlier today. He got one kibble for breakfast. He's just being selfish now. Now he's just being selfish. Oh, big yawn. What am I? Hmm. Same. Jonathan, they only gave you one kibble? That's sick. They shouldn't have done that. That is literally sickening. I'm, I'm throwing up right now, for real. For real, for real. Stag station. Don't mind if I do. No, the big yawn. Oh, okay. I was about to fight. I was like, who's only giving you one kibble? Mother help, Beansy won't share the kibble with me. Did you ask nicely for it? Because maybe he doesn't want to share. Maybe he's shy. Cool. I would love nothing more than to insert Geo into the Stagway. These guys don't get paid enough as is. I'm happy to do so. You're seriously trying to get Beansy to share his one kibble with you? God, you're so selfish. <laughs> like for real? I'm gonna ever get it. It's true, I heard they stop making kibble these days. Like. Ooh, me too, girl. Blech. 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 Fascinating. Oh, poor boy, so sad. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Starving baby. Get starved. So sad. I know. Beansy's so mad I won't feed him, Rue. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Damn, sad. Anyway. Meringue wants food too. Oh! His eye is so watery. Baby boy! Hopefully we have to cancel Bug on their debut uh. stream. I can. That seems like something I would do. Oh, I walked too soon. Fuck you. Eat my ass. Oh, see that? That's what happens when you try to mess with the Bug. You get the teeth. There we go. Got him. Got his ass. You'll never what huh. The water is inside the bag. How? I don't know. But there's water inside. That's very strange. So, um, I guess I'm drinking. We, we were defrosting something. Um, how did the water get inside the bag? So weird. Yeah, you're right. I never would have guessed that. You were defrosting and water got in the bag. That's so strange. All right. 
Stream, you better pick up the pace and stop dying. We have things to do right now, okay? I can't believe you would do this to me on the day of my debut. The day of my debut. Alright. Oh, I hate spikes. I hate thorns, too. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, okay. Whew. I'm sorry. I couldn't imagine they would feel good to touch. I think Rue's having a bad time, guys. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. These are the ones I have to... Poor Rue. That's sad. Anyway. Oh. How did this happen? I think Rue's having a breakdown in the kitchen. So bad. Um, you can use tongs. Uh, okay. I don't think anything I say will make this better. Fuck you, Venus flytrap. We'll pat and dry with the paper towel is the only thing I can think. Like tofu? Alright. That's okay. How did that happen? The bag was fully sealed, too. Alright, Hornet, please don't get mad at me, okay? Hi, Hornet. Yeah? Are you guys hearing this? <gasps> yeah? What's up, little man? to beat her up like this. No, mom, please. Owies. I need to make reasonable, accurate feet. At some point, it makes me want to throw up. Lilith might be able to help you. She does love feet. Hey, I heard we have a foot connoisseur in here. Please, 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 please. Okay, good. Woo! Ow! Mom! Mom, why would you do this to me? <gasps> Mom! Let me heal. I will stab a foot enjoyer before I before I get their help. Lilith, don't you like it when girls are mean to you? <laughs> hmm? They weren't? No. I thought they were. No, it says cut them frozen. Um, should we refreeze them? Or is it too late? If we put them in the freezer, they're just gonna go bad. Because yeah. it's, it's waterlogged 100%. Damn, I didn't realize that. I thought I thought them last time. I think you did. Um... Hi, why am I locked in here? Oh, shit. I guess I'll cook it and see how it goes, but yeah. disgusting. We might have fucked up our dinner, guys. Oops! It's literally disgusting. I'm sure it'll be fine. It will be fine. God damn you. Whoop. Come on. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
And if it's not, we'll just die. No kibble for Bug and Rue. I know, we soaked our kibble too long. And now it's all sorts of fucked up. So glad I have my Mothwing cloak again. So glad I have it back. Sheesh. Sheesh. Hi. Let me in. Hi. Quirrell, I love you so much. Thank you. And then you can turn into a slug if you go to the end of this lake. I remember that. Oh, hey. be mean to me again. Oh, I missed! <gasps> How embarrassing. How embarrassing. I missed. Alrighty. Now it's time to go back to the Charm Master, because he has some, some stuff I need. Some things I require. Some items I would like to partake in. Alrighty. Super fast. Super fast. Faster than lightning. Grease lightning, go, grease lightning, lightning, grease lightning, go, grease lightning, lightning. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this one. Okay. Perfect. I did it. Poor. Running away from me. Like, like some kind of beast. Like some kind of beast, perhaps? All right. Oh, damn. Oh, hi, Eden. <gasps> Eden's on my lap. Hi, baby boy, how are you? I love you. Oh, hi, baby. He's so cute, guys. Oh, that's my little man, my mu little mustache man. Oh, and you're sitting on top of Wilhelm now. Okay, you're not you're not as cute on top of Wilhelm as you were on my lap. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Get blast into oblivion, idiot. Okay. Hi, Beanie Baby. What's up? What appears to be the struggle, Beanie Baby? All right, I need to jump all the way up these and then go over. And we, now we run it. Ooh, we run it, we run it, hold my hand, hold my hand. And we go, we go. Perfect. Oh, Eden, Eden, honey, get off of Wilhelm. He doesn't like it. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He's sensitive. Chop, chop. Yeah? That's what you sound like to me. That's what you sound like to me. God, I love Hollow Knight, guys. It's such a good game. We darting and we running and we running and we running. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I lived. I lived, bitch. Oh. Focus one at a time. Ow. Ow, fuck me. Okay. Oof. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
I'm in pain and in agony. Where is the nearest damn bench? Okay, I need to punch something that won't kill me. I need to punch something that won't kill me. Got dethroned by Signalis, you're not gonna lie. I'm, with how you like talking this game up, I'm really excited to play it. Cause I know you wouldn't be like praising it so highly if it didn't deserve it. So I'm very excited. Ow, <gasps> you motherfucker. God damn it. God damn it. Alrighty, guys, I do think this is where I'll go ahead. No, silence. 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 I think this is actually where I, is, I'm going to end it for tonight. My debut stream. We did some Hollow Knight. Tomorrow we're going back into Bloodstained, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I, was, I can't remember who I said when I said this to Suvi, but I was like, I want to play more Bloodstained. And it was in the middle of the week, so... I had to, I have to wait till tomorrow. Can we raid Beetle? Baby, the party's been here. Don't mess with me, I know the law. Don't mess with me, I know the law. But let me go see who we are gonna raid. Cause I'm here, I'm born to be here. I am a silly little Billy. Let's see here. We might go ahead and bother Riker. Hydrate with water. Okay, I actually ran out of water, so I'll have to drink some more off screen. Ugh. Ugh. You have a couple suggestions if you're up for them? Okay, hit me up with it, because I, I found someone I think we could absolutely also raid. Thank you so much, Mary. I'm so glad you were here. We're BBB for life. BBB. Thank you guys. I'm so happy everyone was able to join me today too. Um, ugh. I don't know, it's just like, it was really special. I haven't done a true, like, debut event, truthfully, because for I remember for my Beetle model, I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna start streaming with it. Like, no big deal. Spartan, all right, let me check them out. Um, so like to be able to have like a true, I don't know, it made me feel like a, like a big kid VTuber. I don't know how else to describe it, but it was really fun. And I felt like I got to really put my own twist on things and the outer worlds. All right. Yeah, sure. Oh my God. He's been streaming for almost five hours. Okay, let me see also Galactic EXE. Oh, they're also really cute, and they just started. I think we're going to bother Galactic this time, just because they just started streaming, and I feel like Spartan is going to be wrapping up soon because they're heading on to five hours. So we're going to go ahead and bother Galactic EXE. They have a really cute model, and it says no bully. Too late. I'm going to bully you. Oh, yeah? Don't ever tell me what to do. But thank you guys so much for joining me. The fun does not end this weekend. Uh, tomorrow I will be back at it 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing some, doing some bloodstained. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for joining me. It was a very special night that I'm going to hold dear in my heart. Truthfully, genuinely. So I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Um, and Mary, wink, FFXIV, wink. I added you to the group chat. Um, no pressure, literally no pressure though. Get around to it whenever you get around to it. I'm not in a, pfft, I'm not in any sort of a rush. So I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna bother Galactic. We're gonna be nice, and we're gonna do a true bug raid. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you guys so much. Sleep tight. Bite bad bugs. <laughs> La da 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 da. Oh, and I'm gonna feed Beansy. He's very hungry. Mwah. <laughs>